The fish bumped into the wall and he said, damn. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the AI is learning. Hey guys, welcome on in. Happy Friday. Welcome to the stream. How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. Let's see what we got in the chat. We got Moodoo Sama, Tentative 2, The Adam Wells, Vinny C, Retro Gamer 2021, uh, Death Clonic, welcome on in. Uh, we have DRM, welcome. Uh, the Adam Wells, welcome. Anti Binky, welcome. Uh, Brunner, welcome. Zorak, welcome. Dude, seriously. Yes, yeah, seriously. Uh, Adam Wells, you got first, second, and third. Death Clonic redeemed Knuckles. And then Tentative redeemed I am first, I want to lurk. And I gave I, I gave Tentative uh, a shit ton of points. <laughs> welcome on in, guys. How you doing? Mega Drew, welcome. Welcome, welcome. AI Seinfeld, yeah, I read one joke, um, they were like, um, why did the chicken go to the doctor? Because he had a problem with his coop degree. And I thought, I'm like, I didn't get it. Oh, get it? Coop degree. Welcome on in, guys. <laughs> he had a problem with his coop degree. Get it? Coop degree. Hate that joke. Uh, let's see. Shout out to Digital Press. Yeah. Let's see here. So, Vinny, welcome on in. That was a funny joke. The the fish and whacking into the wall. It's all good. It's all good, everybody. So, well, we're, uh, we're bringing back the Philips CDI. I have a, a Magnavox CDI. CDI stands for Compact Disc Interactive. And uh, I've had one for about 10 years now, as I was saying before. I picked this up back in 2013. And uh, I remember when I went there, I think I spent $100 on it. And it claimed that it came with the digital video cartridge. So what did I do? I went home, I took it in, and I was like, hey, why don't I really download Thunder in Paradise and burn it to a disc? Because that game uses the digital car video cartridge. Uh, so I did that, and I went to go pop it in. It was like, sorry, you need the digital video cartridge. So I was like, what the hell? So um, I opened it up. It was missing the digital video cartridge. So I had to go on eBay and buy one. I bought one for like 30 I don't know. I don't know what they're going for now. I'm going to check right now. But uh, CDI, digital video cartridge. Damn, they're like, oh, box and manual 60. Uh, they're like, they're like 100, 200. Well, like the system's like 200 bucks now. Yeah. Well, anyway, long story short, I have the, um, I have the digital video cartridge. Uh, that thing is not, a, that thing is not easy to install too. You have to like pop the whole system open and uh then you have to stick it in there and then close it up but uh yeah i have the digit i have i have pretty much a a phillips cdi a full working cdi the only thing that it's not working is it we cannot save games at the bat it, i think the battery is dead and yeah speaking of yeah not as easy as saturn 
Speaking of replacing the battery on the Saturn, it's easy. You just pop the battery in the back out. On the CDI, you have to open the whole damn thing up. Uh, up. You have to take one of the RAM, um, the RAM chips out of the board, and then you have to cut it with the drill to get the battery out, and then you put the battery in. Or you solder a new battery into the uh, the board. It's a lot of work, and I don't think they ever intended like people replacing their batteries on these systems at all. They just thought, oh hey, you know, CDI is gonna last for a good ten years, and that's it. You know, we'll stick a we'll stick a watch battery in; it'll never die. Uh, but that I think that's uh, I think that's not a uh, that's not the case. So. Um, yeah, so we have a we have a dead battery in here, so we can't save any games. Um, so sadly, I can't play the the Zelda game that's like live action. Uh, that one you need to save. I have a couple games picked here that require saving, uh, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, have I ever played the Zelda CDI games? Yes, I have. So yeah, I don't own any of the Zelda games. I have them burned to discs. I have the Hotel Mario game burned to a disc. I wish I picked that up like uh, like 10 years ago the the mario game was like like 20 dollars. it was really cheap now it's like 200 dollars. ridiculous the zelda games forget about they're like 300 and up um i remember my local game store they got a they had one of the zeldas traded in but it was the german version but see the thing is the pal cdi games work on the um work on an american system the system's region free and you could change the language in the menu so but they they you know they would they refuse to sell they're like oh it's the german version we gotta put it up on ebay so uh yeah the, i lost that on that uh can't you replace the battery i could replace the battery it just involves a lot of um a lot of manual labor to replace it and i can i do risk potentially breaking the whole system <laughs> so that's that's what it is oh you're distracted no big deal uh bought all three back in the early 2000s before the prices went up that's yeah enough dragon welcome on in happy friday so yeah i picked out some uh i picked out some cdi games we're gonna play tonight we're playing all the games that i own including the games that i recently picked up i actually got some new ones in there you gotta get a professional yep, exactly a trusted professional so last spring we played we had like a mini a miniature cdi night uh where we played a few games but tonight we're having like a fully blown cdi night uh so i got i got them all here uh let's show off the uh let's show off the roster for tonight uh so the first game we're gonna play tonight is a game that came to pc dos first and actually i actually own the pc version I've never played the CDI version. I'm very interested in seeing this, so we're starting off this game. This game is called Inca. It's by a company called, uh, a French company called Cocktail Vision, which is like a subsidiary of Sierra Online. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is a pretty bizarre game. I remember when I, I, I last played it on DOS PC, it was a very weird game <laughs> indeed. Uh, but even more weirder, my copy that I bought it's the cut it's the front cover to inca but it's the back cover to alien gate which is a shoot 'em up game for the cdi that i don't have i actually would like to get it um but yeah we're starting off with inca uh never seen a cdi game case, case like that before oh like a like a long box we'll get to that yo n39 1981 welcome on in they also made a game called lost in time yes they made lost in time may wean the prophecy or the prophecy depending on what world of, what part of the world you were from wean the prophecy they've also made a game called um i my mind always draws a blank whenever i think of this game it's another it's an fmv game for pc dot uh pc windows you're always on the run you're you're on the run you're running away from something it's like fmv what's it called What's it called? Lost in... I think they called it Lost in Town in France, but in America they called it something else. Uh... Damn, what the hell is the name of that game? I always forget the name of the game that they made for Windows. 
I'll look it up. Uh, Sierra Cocktail Vision Games. Lost Dynasty, I know they made. Let's see, what, what's the other game? I'm looking it up. Uh, Last Dynasty. Urban Runner. You're on the run. Urban Runner. That's what it was called. Urban Runner. Urban Runner. They also made Urban Runner. They made a couple other games, but yeah, Inca and Lost in Time. Those are the two games that I I knew I knew them for. Uh, but yeah, we're starting off with Inca. Y'all, sir, welcome on in. How you doing? Playing uh, CDI games tonight. Uh, then we're gonna play a game that I picked up at too many games last year. I finally am getting around to playing this. Uh, the seller cut me a deal. I got this for five bucks. It's called Keither. It's supposed to be an honor rail shoot 'em up. So it should be good. And Knuckles. So yeah. Keither. Uh, then we're going to play a game that we played last year. The last time we did this. But I'm going to play it again. It's awesome. Thunder in Paradise with Hulk Hogan. This one, you need the digital video cartridge to play. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Uh, then we're going to play a game that I picked up from Cody during a personal shopping session. Uh, it's called Boyer. Which is like a... It's, supposed to, it's a, an FMV game where you spy on people. Um, I don't know if there's parts in this game that I might have to censor, but I have a censor scene. I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a scene. I think I have a button that uh, I could click and it censors the window. We could do that. Adam Wells, Thunder in Paradise was on AGDQ last month. Oh yeah, it was. Yeah, because I think you can beat that game in like 15 minutes. It's really fast. Uh, then we're gonna play another Unreal shoot 'em up called Chaos Control. We played this on the Sega Saturn Day streams, so we have the Japanese version, but this is, I guess, the American version. And this one also uses the digital video cartridge. Uh, then we're gonna play Mad Dog McCray. This game is always fun. Uh, then we're gonna try out a game that I just picked up today. It's called Lost Eden. Uh, this is the Dutch version, or the German, not the Dutch version. Yeah, the Dutch, I guess that, that's what they call it on the eBay list. It's the, it's the PAL version. Uh, but you have to, you could manually select in the menu uh, English, so you just have to let the intro play out, which is voiced in English. It just has like German subtitles, and uh, yeah, just go to the main menu, change to English. Uh, then we're gonna finish the night off with Dark Castle. This is one of those long box games. I think DRM you were you were talking about. Yeah, so you, the slip cover comes off, and then. It, they're in, they're in one of these like plastic cases. It's weird. You need to just open it up. You get the get the disc and the manual. That's this is what this is the original design for the CDI uh, games, for, like the early '90s, late '80s design. Um, came out like a book. They wanted to be fancy. Yeah, but yeah, that was yeah. That's that's uh what we got on the roster tonight. Quite. A nice selection of games. Well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start off with uh, Inca. Be warned, this game is a very bizarre uh, game. Rather have the case than the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, all right, we're gonna start off with Inca. This game is very very bizarre. Um, you know, I love the bizarre games, so we're just gonna jump right into it. And uh, yeah, it's the main menu screen. Uh. I set the date to 1993 because I, I couldn't set the date to 2003. It's the whole Y2K thing. Here, look, look I'll even show you. It starts off in 1980. No, oh. Go back in time to like the 70s. Okay, so it by default, when you turn it on, it starts off in 1989. Um, So you can go into the 90s. And then it just, it just, it, you go to 2000, it just starts over again. That's how old school we're talking here. So, uh, 2023. We're in, we're in 19, 1923 right now. All right, we're going to start the game up. Uh, might have an issue with audio balancing, so just let me know. Did that before the, yeah, exactly. Inca. Go. Oh, and this is also uh, this this is composite video we're playing off of. 
Um, so we're not getting like that awesome RGB video that I usually show off, but this is, yeah, it's all, it's all composite video that that's another thing that I would like to do one day is uh, get the battery fixed and then RGB, RGB mod or system. Uh, let's do the intro. You guys can see how it is an, it is an interesting game. Very interesting game. They take inspiration from Star Wars and Apanjis. Philips Interactive Media presents. I felt ominous premonitions like a doomy in my heart. Catastrophes, earthquakes, and finally. Yes, yeah, so this was originally a DOS game. And I remember in the Let DOS version, the during the intro, there's supposed to be like English subtitles on the bottom soul. of the screen. And I guess for some reason the they took it out here. It's like it, it was like some guy talking in like a foreign language and it shows the subtitles on the bottom, battle. what he says. Wait but... for the prophecy to be fulfilled. So I guess this this guy's voiceover the they they put it there. An iridescent disc, the fires of which will relight our sleeping sun, Inti. Inti. Like Viriconcha, I know that in five centuries Eldorado will come. This man mortal will once again find the three great powers and become the new Inca. I will be there to guide you, the chosen one. That's good, good music right here. This guy's head turned into a uh, a flute, and it's going to space. Yep, he's going to space. <laughs> It's an anamorph, yeah. And then there's pirate ships in space. <laughs> pirate ships in space. So I think that's the flute that that you're hearing right now. Yo, Jojo, welcome on in. How you doing? Yeah, song's amazing. How to kill a mockingbird flash animation. Oh, is that like an old flash video? Flutes in space. A journey through the Milky Way. Is it wrong that I know the words to this song? You are El Dorado. So we are El Dorado. An old Flash video. No. That's a, that's, that's a long time ago. Inca. Yes, this is like a point and click game, which fully takes advantage of this uh, of this paddle controller. Um, I don't think I showed this paddle controller off very well. Um, you control with the D-pad right here in the center, and then you got your your left click and your right click buttons. Just two. You just gotta yeah, you got two two buttons. You played that game in another life. <laughs> Yep, I played it during uh, when I used to play DOS games all the time. For Philips Interactive Media. We are the Epic Flute Solo. <laughs> yeah. We are lost. Where we go, we don't know. All right. Let's begin the game. I think it jump. It it puts us right there. Ah, he's waking up at last. Come on, young man. You've slept long enough. 
My name is Huena Capac. Apu Huena Capac. And you, El Dorado, are you really the chosen one that have been waiting nearly five centuries for? The one in the prophecy. Before you set off on your quest, I have to warn you that somewhere in space and time, another you has appeared simultaneously, and he's looking for the same thing as you. Viracocha, blessed be your name. Please Sir, this is so Wendy's. <laughs> So that it yeah, that's what he's looking at him like. Other's hands. Take great care. His powers are without limit. He knows of your existence, and he's already looking for you. I've talked too much, don't I? The young warrior's heart is beating like a drum, which drowns out the wise man's words. Since you are so young and impatient, you'll see action. We are now close to the planet where I have hidden the power which will give us mastery of time, that foremost gem of the Tumi. Go now and prove your value. All right. It's a point and click game. We got a, a CD player in this guy's room. We got a thing you could click. got a statue you could click on. Uh, that tells you how to play the game. This is like the this is like the this is like the help menu. Uh, at the start of each game phase, a six uh, secret six-digit code is displayed. Write it down correctly. Oh, so we could save. It's a password. Mortal Kombat is all I wanted him to shout out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, space travel. We actually we travel in space. Uh huh. Planet flyover. Your goal, Eldorado, is to be the first to reach the end of the canyon. Oh, it shows you how to play. All right, I've sort of seen that already based on, like, when I first played this game. All right, so then this takes us back out. I click there to replay the intro. This is how you exit the game. Oh, arrow. Let's click it. Yeah. Let's begin the game. All right. First level. Welcome on board, Eldorado. My name is Diana, your fine computer. I hope you will enjoy this. The hell? Gets into a spaceship and flies off. Crap. That might be a little loud. Pew 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 pew. Pew 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 pew. Let me tone that down just a bit. Now it's TIE Fighter. Pew 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 pew. Alright, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta fly to that planet in the center of the screen. I could have sworn it was a lot easier to do this on the DOS version. Oh crap. Oh crap. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Oh, we're getting there. We made it. Oh no, we died. He died. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, no, we did it. Two, five, four. Can't take any more hits, Captain. All right, that's our uh, password. So that is two, five, four, nine, seven, six. Okay. Did it. Yo, the Dan K. Well, come on in. Wait, there are other CDI games that were in Zelda? <laughs> yeah. 
All right, here. Oh, whoa, that ship just stopped on the diamond. It's going right for that planet. Red Letter Media would watch this. All right. Now we're flying down the Death Star Trench. Here we go. Pew, 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 pew. Flying down the Death Star Trench, everybody. We're beating it. We're beating him. That little bar on the top is telling us. Got to race him. Oh, he's catching up. Uh-oh. He caught up. Oh, we got him. We got him. We beat it. Uh-oh. Oh, hey. We're flying into the Death Star Trench. We're going to blow it up. All right, made it. Hey, that's the code. Let's get that code, 472677. Well, Wii U shop is, oh yeah, I hear that eShop's going away for the Wii U. Took advantage of the flute. Yeah, they love the flutes in this game. All right, the next level. Okay, so now this game turns into a point and click. So let's see here. Door. Click on the door. No El Dorado. Angular stone. Oh, you click on both El, uh, store stones. Let's see. Golden sun. Let's put the golden sun in the center. No El Dorado. Do I have to, like, put an inventory? Do I have to yep, put in my inventory? No. We got these gems down here. What does that say? Geoglyph's hole? Oh. No Eldorado. Golden Sun. No Eldorado. What am I supposed to do with this? I put it on the door? Geoglyph's hole. But. How did they not get sued by George Lucas? Good question. Uh, do I have an inventory screen? No. Oh, wait, yeah, I do, but I don't... Okay, help. When what? the sacred jewels have been returned to Nazca, you will be able to open the doors of the city of Inca, where the first power you are... To be found. Interesting. All right, so when you click the hole, you, that happens. Control cover. There we go. There we go. So we put the red. One of these holes. No. Oh. Take the... Oh, you got to take the jewels out. We hit the button again. Oh, here's the... Here they are. Okay. Let's put the red... Weird. Do I push the button again? Do I take the sun and put it away? No, no. We put the sun in the center. No. We put the sun... Huh. How did I do this back in the day? Do I have to put the balls back in the trunk here? No Eldorado. 
put it in the center. No, put it on the door. Boom, boom. No Eldorado. Okay, this is tricky. All right, so you take the, the green ball. Clicking on anything. It like locks into place. Let's see. Can I watch my own video again? I don't have a video. Door. You gotta click. You gotta click on everything when you play the game like this. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, are the patterns changing whenever I put it back? No, they're not changing. Do I have to put the the stone on the thing? No. In T stone, hold on. When the sacred jewels have been returned to Nazca, you Okay. Geoglyph's hole. They don't hit. No, they, they said something about returning the jewels. There must be something else in the room. Door. So I hit these two buttons on the side of the door. Golden sun. I'm just going to like wave my mouse back and up and down until something happens. So if you hit that, that's what happens. Red. Yeah, so this is like the King Tut game 2.0. And it's in English. Geoglyph's hole. Do I use the blue stone? Hmm. Okay. Do I put the sun? No, El Dorado. Oh, there. I was doing that before. It wasn't let me click on anything. Energy comes from balance. From balance is born the order of things. Pixel, it, it's, yeah, it wasn't working earlier. With that order, there is no balance. Sacred to me. Is the door open? Yeah, we did it. That made no sense, that puzzle. So you had to you had to click on it in a certain way, it seems. Oh, we're in a 3D maze. Alright. 3D maze time. Uh oh. Oh! It's on rails! Nice. Alright, what are you doing? Come back here. Yep. Oh, we go forward. Oh, okay, so you hit the second button to get a map. Exit game. No, I don't want to exit the game. I want to exit the screen. Duck hunt. All right, let's go this way. Early Doctor Who, yeah. Where's the TARDIS? Uh, go straight. All right. Got to find the exit. Uh, no, 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 no. Got to go left. Go through the door. 
Hey, I can play with one hand. That's pretty cool. All right, turn right. Go up. Oh, shit. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. He mustn't escape. Bring him back down or alive. <laughs> Shoot him. Hey, JR, welcome on in. Thank you for the resub. Got him. Got him. Thank you for the 24 months, JR. Thanks so much. Two years. Welcome on in. We're playing a strange game for the Philips CDI. It's called Inca. Very strange game. Happy weekend. All right, so chances are the other side of the hallway. There should be nothing there. But I'm going to check anyway. Oh. Good thing I checked. Yep, good thing I checked. Good thing I checked. This was in here. Bu, 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 bu. Go that way. Walk out. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's loading. No Eldorado. Oh, it's a trap. Not. No Eldorado. Oh, we got an item. To me. Yeah, bust the tunes. Oh, come on in. Remember the CDI commercial with Phil Hartman. Now with $200, a free software. Patience and the passage of time. Better than the strength or anger. A system which is the least discreet. Half piece of bamboo. Oh, hey, we got it. Cool. That was a cool puzzle. Let's see. Do we have to... Do we put this on here? Oh, I got another puzzle. Wall. Ah, okay. I see what to do here. So I got to take the left piece of the bamboo, put it there. Take the right piece of the bamboo, put it here. And then golden star. Yay, get the golden corn. Oh, something came back over there. Maybe we had a... Okay, we put this golden coin in the center here. No. Wait. No, no, no. So do I take the this thing? There we go. Oh. Into the temple of the four provinces from the four sun. I, I, I skipped it by accident. Okay, do I give him the gold coin? Stamp, yes. Oh, hey. We, we passed it. Oh, there he is. Pew, 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 pew. All right, cool. We made it out. Oh, what we got now? More shooting? It's loading. Door. Oh. What's this? Golden panel. Take the sun. Mark of the star. Close it. Got to solve a puzzle. Column. Oh, do we, we have to put something on the column? Nope. Be back later. Got to head soon to your former workplace. Ah, okay. No problem, Zorak. Column. Oh, 
column. Do I have to put the star on the column? Yes, these pillars support far more than it would seem. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. Get the star. What does that say? So you got to put the star on the column. Oh, what is this? All right, so there's this this thing here. Kweepu. Oh, stone star. Look at that. Okay, I think I know what to do with that. Let's see. Got to get the golden star. Let's see what that does. Interesting. Did we already open this one? Du, du, du. All right, let's open this guy. Put the stone star inside this star. Here we go. Hey, look at that. All right. Yo, Mike, welcome on in. How you doing? Golden bar. Ooh, do we put something in there? So the brightest stars aren't always influential. We put this guy in here. The corn. Arrow. North, west, east, south. Interesting. It's like a code you got to put in. Uh, interesting. Okay, hold on. Let's take a, another look. All right, can we? Wait. Wait. Well, is there a way to get out of here? No, El Dorado. Put that on there. Well, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this could this could corresponds to the number of um things on here. Let's see. So let's see. Is let's assume. Let's see. North three. One, two, three. Was that one? One, two, three, four, five. What's how many was on the last one? Is that two? No El Dorado, that's not the code. How do I back out of here? Okay, so that wasn't it. Uh there's no way to back out. No El Dorado. So we gotta like put this code in. It tells you what it is. No, El Dorado. Okay. Uh, which one is north? Which one's? I guess we could just now we could try one, two, three. Was it one? One, two, three, four, five, and then this one would be two. Nope. Okay. So what if we make this? One, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Nope. No El Dorado. So what is that? Two, one, five, two, two, one, wait. No, three, one, five, two, three, one, five, two. Three, one, Five, two, nope, three, one, five, two, nope. Yo, Destructulous, welcome on in. Is this considered a PNC point and click game? Yes, both. And it's an action game. And Star, Star Wars is involved somehow. Uh, three, one, five, two. Three, one, one, two, three, four, five, 
two. Nope, that's not it. Uh, let's get a hint. You were able to find the antechamber of founders of Huaca. Three, one, five, two. Three, one, five, two. One, two, th three, five. Nope, that wasn't it. Uh, arrow. Okay. Uh, I wish there was a way to back out. And like look at the because I, I know you had to look at I think you have to look at the column. Uh, uh, looking it up because I can't look I can't go back. Inca. View hints. Where are we? Uh. Uh, these arrows mummy's instructions okay three on the right all right i think i got it three one two three one five two there we go three ones i just have to figure out i, I was on the right trip yep stuck in the puzzle i just had to figure out which one was the orientation so yes three one five two good Hey, there's our code. Six eight one two two four. Da da bum bum. Cool. Next level. You are the Incas, kings and knights. Oh, what do we got here? Time came to a standstill here in 1525. Manco Capac and Mama Oclo will come together twice. From life, you will create life. So, time will once again unfurl. Unfurl. Oh, oh we got a blue ball. And we got a red ball. How do we take, do we have to click on the red ball? No. Hold on. Click on the red ball and the blue ball. Redded. Oh, another red ball. All right, so we got a red. Oh, blue. Red. What happens now? Oh, no, it exploded. Red. Red. Red and red. Red. Oh, whoa. Okay. Pour it oil down. All right, get a blue and get a red. Oh, survived. All right, let's get a red. Oh, now we get a blue. And we get a red. Now we pour the oil. What do we get?
So we get a blue a blue human being. And we get another blue human being. Oh, they fought. No, nope, we can't do that. So we got to make a red and a blue, I think. All right, so let's get a red. Let's get a blue. No, a red and a red. The blue man group. Thought they were going to dance. <laughs> Maybe. Uh... No, we need a blue. A blue. There he is. Give me a red. They're blue. Ba -da -be -da -da -da. Yo, you guys hear that, that, that I'm blue remix that's on the radio? They like remixed it to like a techno like dance beat. It's really good. Right, let's see what happens here. So we made a blue guy. Watch, this is going to be a red girl. Yep. Bride and groom. Groom and bride. Watch, now they get married. They become one. I haven't listened to the radio in 10 years. Uh, let's see. Congratulations. Congratulations, Eldorado. If you are reading this message, then you could convince our ancestors, Mama Oklo and Monko Kapak. You have just faced many dangers in order to obtain this first power over time. Pishi? Bring it back to Pishi. Eldorado, yes. Be very careful because Agire will... Yay, we did something. Did we win? Yay. Oh, more space flight. More Star Wars. Here we go. Oh, no. Fighters. More TIE Fighter action. No, El Dorado. <laughs> Oh. Oh. All right. All right, so you have to shoot them all, I guess. So, yeah, this is like Wing Commander. Yo, Miles, welcome on in. How you doing? Uh-oh. I'm on. Wait. Am I being... I'm being shot at. Hi, hi. Wait, does the left crosshair mean it, they're behind me? I gotta get in the right crosshair. Yep, right crosshair means they're in front. Left means they're in back. All right, get get them to go on the right cross. There we go. Boom. 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 Bo oh, did we get it? Hey, we did it. We solved the mystery. Hey, there we go. Cool. Got another password. 227642. Nice. We did it. All right, let's see. I guess we're going back to base. So I think I'm getting the format to this game. Each mission you go out, you, you do a space combat battle, then it's puzzle slash adventure, well, for then more mission, space combat. I have to say that I was pleasantly surprised. You were unbeaten, but not necessarily unbeatable. It's not always going to be so easy. From henceforward, you master time. Don't hesitate to make use of this power. Already. He's quick. Go and fight. Go and fight. The renaissance of Inti rests in your hands. All right. Let's go and fight. Oh, 
Let's go. Inca. Diane, a flight engine. Oh, we're we're uh, fighters. Pew pew pew. All right, let's go. Blow him up. That's one. There we go. Oh, we're getting shot from behind. Get him. Boom. That's two. Boom. That's three. Come on. Oh, that's not four. Boom, one more. I see him. Oh, I almost got him. Speed up. I lose him? Did I lose him? Wait, did I? I, I must have lost him. There he is. There we go. Finally. Oh, we got more. Oh, there we go. Come on, get him. Come on, up. Oh, they're going fast. They're going way too fast here. Oh. Boom. Come on, blow him up. There we go. Come on, get up. <laughs> Come on, blow him up. There we go. Two. Use your proton torpedoes. There we go. Just blow them up. Oh, there's two on the left side. Oh. Boom. One more. Oh, went past us. All right, spin around. No. No, no. Keep going. Where you at, buddy? Where'd he go? Come on. Speed up, slow down. Boom up. Boom, finally. We win? Yes, we won. That's how you win. All right, I got another passcode. Five three six one six eight. Perfect. Boom boom. Cool. Ooh, pirate ship. Pirate ship time. Buena Vista, the golden one. So you're the one who has been sent to change the world. You seem rather young to dare to stand up to Aguirre. Aguirre. Well, let's see what you're made of, lad. 
lad. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, pirate ship time. You're rather nervous. Oh. oh I gotta shoot the lasers. Wait, am I stuck? Nope. Hey, small fry. Small You're fry. not enjoying yourself. Pew pew pew. Oh, go up the stairs. You're trembling, small fry. Do you still want to play? Oh, gotta shoot the lasers. <laughs> One more. Through the door? Yay, go inside. It's a candle. I think I just skipped that cutscene. <laughs> oh. Chain. Label. No El Dorado. Oh, there's a rat. Rat. Powder. Rat. Get in my inventory. Oh, we got powder. Give the rat the powder. Cork. Put it in the hole. Label. Rat. Either scram or help me vermin. <laughs> Label. We put the cork back. Yep. And then take the label. Actually, no, no. Take the cup. Label. No El Dorado. Put the dust. It. Do we put the powder in the bowl? No, no. Powder. Chain. Label. Now we take the label and then we put it on the barrel. Please make it work on Vera Kacha. Okay, so then we put the cup on the label. Pull the chain. Oh, okay, hang on. Do we put the chain again? Now we put the the cup on the light. And now we blew up the the pot. Okay, that make that made perfect sense, that puzzle. And now this ball broke the chains, and now we could get out. Okay, cool. Easy peasy. All right, we did it. Barrel. Gold nuggets and key. Cool. Cool. All right. Close the cover. Go left. Uh, barrel. Too heavy, won't move like that. Okay, go that way. We just go straight. Cupboard, no Eldorado. Oh, do we put the key into the cupboard? No Eldorado. No Eldorado. It's not what you do. Barrel. Jewels in the key. Cup word. Oh, do we put the jewels in the key and the 
cupboard. No. Do we put the... One of the keys on the cupboard? No. Uh, let's try. Let's keep trying every, every combination. Hmm. Do I put the do I put the gold in the in there? No. I put the cut oh I put the jewels in there. No. Okay, no I don't. Okay. Cup word. Are any of these cupboards open? Oh never mind, we go in here. Barrel ground. No Eldorado. Do I put something on the ground? Uh, the gold on the ground. Cover. Oh, we put the key on the cover. Precious stones. Ground. So something goes on the ground. Uh, is it the cup? Nope. Turn right. Uh, barrel. Anything in there? Nope. Nothing's in there. Okay. Go in here. Cupboard. Anything? Cupboard. Nope. Look left. Well, I can't click on the the cupboard here left left cupboard try every try everything in our inventory you put the cup on the cupboard no you put the key in, oh there he is there you go take the plank wait okay so now do we put the gold on the the plank got put something on the plank here the stones. Do we put the stones on the plank? No. It's like a ball here or something. Plank. Do we put the cup on the plank? No. Do we put the the gold on the plank? No. Do we put the stones on the plank? Nah. How about the other key? Nope. Do I turn around? Nope. Can't turn around. Door. Got to close the door. All right. Do we go on the other side? Cupboard. Do we use this this key on the, the thing? Yep. There we go. All right. So we got the hatchet. Toilet tree bag. Here we go. Close that. All right. So now we open the cupboard. We put the toilet tree bag in the... No. I'll tell you what we do. We go back into the other room. Get the hatchet. Break the lid. Put the lid in our inventory. Now take the toiletry bag and fill it. What? No. Weird. Oh, hold on. So let's take the cup. We put the powder in the, the bag. No. Okay, ground. So I take the the bag and put it on the ground. There it goes. Okay, so now we take the cup and then we put it in the bag and we just fill it. Okay, now take the toiletry bag and bring it back to the plank. So See, we're making progress here.
put it on the plank, and then that makes the thing move, and then we get the cannon, the cannon sponge. And then we turn around. Now do we use this to open the cupboard? No. Uh, go this way. We gotta use this thing for something. Barrel. Probably have to take this thing and barrel. And that moves out of the way. We open the trap. There we go. Did. Did it. Cool. Give me a hand. Oh, another maze game. Oh. Okay. Boom, that's one. Nope. Oh. Another maze stage. This is this is great. Let's go straight. Alright, look left. Let's go straight until we hit a dead end, I guess. All right, look left, look right. All right, go left. All right, go this way. All right, look left, look right. Hey, Nick Chiu, come on in. The Philips CDI, a very different console if it's time. Yes. This way, the rest of you. Uh oh, we got more. There we go. Pew, pew, pew. I right, go straight. Anything in here? Looks like there's nothing here. All right, turn right. Turn left. Go back into that main room. Turn right. All right, switch out the, the map here. All right, so if we turn left... Go straight. Let's see where this takes us. This should be nothing. All right, turn left. Turn right. Head on out. Anything on the other side? Looks like it. There might not. Oh, we found something. Hey, we did something. What do we got? This way. The rest of you will corner him. Uh oh. There we go, got him. Uh oh. Got him. Got him. Alright, walk out. Let's take a look at the map. Alright, let's go right. I think we have to go. This way, the rest of you will go uh -oh. him. Cool. Got one. Got him, too. I right, look right. Oh, let's go this way. Nothing. Look right. Look left. Head out. Let's see. There's probably nothing on this side. Oh, wait, no. There is something. Got more. Turn right. Let's go out there. Anything? Right. 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 Go left. Go straight. Oh, shit. That guy scared me. Go right. Look at the map. Go right. Dead end. I know it. Right, left. Go right. This way, the rest of you. Oh, there's more. That's one. 
Head to the right. Come on. Give up, Savage, or you'll pay for it. Oh, we got more. What's that? We get him? He disappeared. Oh, we got another room. Let's see. Anything in here? Another dead end. Uh, a dead end. This way, the rest of you. The rest of you, go to him. I got one. I go right. Dead end. Right. Right. Left. Look at the map. All right. So we should be able to. How much you want to bet, though? If I look at the map, if I go out to the right, this is going to take me back there. This is going to take me to nowhere. I just know it. Yep. All right, so if I go sh left and just go north, where does that take us? Give up, Savage, or you'll pay for it. Nice. <laughs> he just disappears. Go up. All right, just go north. North again. What's this? Dead end. This way, the rest of you will corner him. Look on him. Um. Anything else? Spin around. All right. Second button. Uh. Okay. So if I go two and then make a right. This way, the rest of you will corner him. Look on to him. That's one. There we go. Two. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, one more. Then we make a right. All right, spin around a bunch of times. Nothing? All right, we're going the wrong way. Yo, Neo Mecha Sonic, welcome on in. You want to see a random retro? Let's see here. What do we got for you today? Um, for the Game Boy, the Super Game Boy, you got... Galaga and Galaxian for the Game Boy. Look at that. In a in a protective case. Right like, like that. Cool. Classic arcade game. Cool. Alright, so that's not where we're supposed to go. So I'm gonna cross over. Go over this little thing here uh switch out to the map all right so i should make a right go straight and a left left Turn left, turn right, head out. And if you go straight, this is going to take us. All right, so this should be a dead end. Okay. 
All right. I think I need to go. I need to go back. Well, hold on. Let me just rule something out really quick. If I turn right here, go straight, make a right. Is this a dead end? This should be a dead end. If that's a dead end. It is a dead end. Okay, so now I know where to go. Make a left, go straight, go through the stairs. This should be this should be it. Or if this is not it and another dead end, uh, I have no idea where to go. Alright, make a left. Now make a left. All right, hit the button, make a left. Dead end, <laughs> this room's a dead end. All right, now just now turn left. This should put us somewhere. Dead end, watch. It's a dead end. Oh, God. Why did I come this way? Uh, this made me go to a dead end. There's just dead ends all over this freaking map. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> How did I have the patience to do this back in the day on DOS? I guess on the PC it runs faster, like on the because you're running from a, a CD drive, it takes a while to load. And I use this since I did this on the computer, it was on the hard drive, so it wasn't that much loading involved. One, two, go down the street. All right, I think we gotta make a left. Make one left. Nope. We'll make this left here. Let's see what we got. Nothing. All right, do we make the straight here? Nope. That's nothing. Okay. So if I turn around, there should be one way to go. Left, turn right. Dead end. So we, we looked everywhere. Right? Did we look everywhere on this map? There, there's one area that we're probably missing. It's like, what was the point of going all the way over here? So now if I go out through here, what does that take us? That just puts us back here. Ah. More of the map. Nope. Spin around. Ugh. I have to go down. Spin around again. Oh, there we go. Pirate ship windows. Oh, upstairs. Downstairs. Oh, we got more. It's getting good. This way, the rest of you will call oh, him. Getting close. That's one. All right, hit the second button. We make a left or a right? Let's look right. All 
Give up, savage, or you'll pay for it. Uh oh. There we go. Get up, Savage, or you'll pay for the. Oh, found it. We found it. Rings. All right, so we put the gold on the rings. Oh, there we go. Grab the candle. Grab the crucifix. Put the crucifix. Uh, so let's see. Do we put the the jewels in the in the hand here? Put the jewels there. We put the gold in the other hand. Yep. I don't believe it, but. Oh, look at this. We're here now. Font, gargoyle, steli. So we put the cup on the steli? No. We put the candle on the steli. Candlelight uh, always makes everything more beautiful. And then you put the cup next to it? Gargoyle, font. Put the crucifix on the door. The gargoyle. Hey. Let me put that here, right? Stelly. There we go. It's heavy. Did we put the wall. Okay, now we fill the cup with the water. Holy water. And then we put it in here, right? We give it to that guy, the gargoyle. I'll put it there. A sensor can't emit anything unless it's a light. Do we give... Wait, do we give him the cup? St. Peter. A little cool water, perhaps. And then, then we get the key, put it on the door, and we head out. Makes sense. And then this opens up this room. Like a church or something? My power, power was able, able to get to, to you. To get you here through space and time. In the same way, it will be able to send you away far from here. Your turn, El Dorado. Cool. All right, so now we hit button. Wait, what? It's like a music puzzle. Put something on here? No. Da -da -da -da. It's, a it's a music puzzle. that it? No. I'm confused. Is, there, is this a code or something? Oh, I can't get any hints. This is this is a strange puzzle. Click the button.
The music puzzle. Ugh. Okay. Da -na -na -na. Uh, wait, it, it, maybe it's up, down, oh, hold on, I know what it is. Up, down, left, right. It's up, down, left, right. I don't know why it's up, down, left, right. Yep, up, down, left, right. Why did... Okay, because uh, that's, that's like a Catholic thing. Yeah, up, down, left, right. That's right. Hey, we did it. Never mind. Cool. Two, nine, four, six, seven, five. Cool. Hit okay. Did it. Where we go next? You managed to escape. Vira Kocha be praised. Be praised. Apu in a kapak promised us you would come. There's no time to lose. They have already desecrated Paracas, our moon. They mustn't reach here. Please, El Dorado. You are the only one who can help us. Nope. Death Star Trench, let's go. Pew 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 pew. Come on, blow him up. Come on, one more. Get him. Come on. Or ahead of him. He's catching up. Got him. Oh, do we win? Please tell me we won. Oh. Flying out. Trademark Star Wars. Hey, we got it. The password here nine five four 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 three. Cool. Okay. Boom boom. Let's see here. And yeah, we're flying out. I knew in my heart that you would succeed. I can now lead you to the crypt that we have been guarding for such a long time. You can't cross the threshold. Only Akla, a sun virgin, may approach the mummies of our ancestors, the guardians of Huaka. My mission has reached its end. I can now hand over the power you have been looking for to its rightful heir. Come, 
Follow me. I guess we I guess we did it. Did we win? Hey, we got a blue gem. Uh Goodbye, El Dorado. If one day we meet again, it will be because you have succeeded in your quest and you will be the new Inca. The new Inca. Because I am Akla, I will be yours. I pray to Inti, our son, to be with you during your coming trials. All right. All right. The rebirth is coming, El Dorado. The Akla woman nominates you as the new Inca. You have won the second of the powers of the Incas, which will give our people the mastery over matter. Just imagine the wonders we will be able to build. All right. What do we get now? Do we win? It's time to bring all this to an end. Uh-oh. In the name of God and the King, you will conquer. You're going to wipe out this men of savages. Never forget that waiting for you at the end of this battle is gold. Mountains of gold. Take off now. And I don't want to see you again except as victors. My punishment will be equal to that of your cowardice. Hmm. Cowardice says, oh, here comes the fighters. Up oh, more fighters. Let's go. Uh-oh. Spin around. Uh oh. Slow down. That's one. That's two. We got three more. Uh oh. Spin around here. Come on, get that right cross here. Oh, slow down. That's two. That's three. That's four. All right, we got one more. Boom. There we go. Do it again. One. We got more. Pew 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 up up. Ah. Boom. Uh oh. Boom. I right, get this green guy. Speed up. Uh oh. Don't get killed. Slow down. He's shooting me. Uh, speed up. Speed up. Don't let him kill. We got three more things of health. Go. Boom! Finally. Yes. I thought we were a goner. Two, four, five, seven, two, one. 
Okay. Cool. Here's our valiant conqueror. The alpaca returns to the fold. A single tear of a woman inebriates more than liters of chicha. The charming young Ekia reminds me of an adventure I had when I was several centuries younger. Well, that's not very appropriate at the moment. We're approaching the third power, the one that's missing in this to me. Third one power. One that will finally allow the prophecy to be fulfilled. So it's the last power. Should you succeed and have it in your hands, you will be alone. I won't be able to do anything more for you. you will but you didn't do anything. That will make you he didn't do anything for us. Or a vagabond, wandering lost through space and time forever. I can do one more thing for you. The Mayas on this planet have helped us to protect the third stone. Listen well to this text taken from a Chichen Itza monument. One day, he will come to take back that which he entrusted to us. Three times on the ramparts, Inca he will be. Then he will enter, and the dawn will be near. Go now, and use your head for once. May all our gods be with him. Okay. Or he will need it. Ba -da -da -ba. Ba -ba. All right, here we go. Get that third and final jewel. Yeah, this game isn't too long, if I remember correctly. So... That's the last part. I think we go to another space battle. No, oh, more fighters. Let's go. Pew, pew, pew. Pew 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 Come back. Oh. Slow down. I'm up. Two. Three. Hey, we win. Hey, we won. Goody. It's loading. Oh, we got more. Oh, we blow up the sh Hey, we gotta blow up the, the ships in space. Come on, blow them up. Boom, oh, no, blow them up. Hey, there we go. Cool. One more. 
Uh oh. Crap. Hang on, what we got here? Elster wants to see a random retro item and Knuckles. Got it. We blew him up. Cool. We won. All right. Random retro item. All right. Random retro item for Elster. Virtual Racing for the 32X. We got our uh, our uh, power adapter coming in next week. Uh, we'll have another the 32X night. Virtual Racing. And Knuckles. Let's see. We got a password. Let's see. What's the password? 818754. Yo, King. Welcome on in. Fall over. If you fall over, lots of things within arm's reach. Yeah, crawl on the floor. Welcome on in, King. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Playing uh, Philips CDI tonight. We're puzzle solving here. Let's see here. Uh, plaque. It's like a code or something. Oh. Oh, so hit that. Laser, sun, up, oh. balls, sacred egg, up, oh. soup. Light, always light. Okay, that did something. Uh, sacred egg. Put the egg somewhere. This mechanism is really complicated. Interesting. Light, always light. And then what does this do? Mechanism's always complicated. No Eldorado. What am I doing with this jewel here? Put the red. Oh, 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 it's this. Light always light. Okay, so we put the red where this eye is. Right? No, no, no. We put the blue where the eye is. No Eldorado. Is it the green? Oh, no. All right. It's the green. There we go. And then we put in another code, right? All right, so then I think it's red or blue. All right, then we hit the two, and that should give us the blue. That should give us the plate. There we go. Now we get the disc, and we probably put the disc on. There we go, and that opens the door. Feeling a bit under the weather? Oh, I hope you feel better. Definitely. Sorry to hear that. All right, so we open the door. What next? Door locks were really complicated back in the day, yeah. I'll say. Uh, uh, more maze. 
more maze action. Give up, Savage, or you'll pay for it. <laughs> Boom, one. Uh, let's see. Let's look at our map here. Let's go left. Boom, boom, boom. This way, the rest of you will corner him. Go on to him. Boom, there you go. Boom, head out. Alright, let's look. Look at our map. Alright, so we can go left. Alright, so that's a dead end. Up, Savage, or you'll pay for it. Pay for it. Get lost in the in the map here. All right, spin around. All right, so recording. Oh, crap, we got more. Come on. All right, that should be a dead end, too. If it's not, we're in trouble. Yep, yeah, that's a dead end. There's going to be a person out here. Watch. Oh, I knew it. Oh, we got one. There you go. Head for eight. Turn right. Hopefully there's no dead end here. There's more. Kieran coming with the raid. Hey, welcome on in, raiders. Let's get a shout out to Kieran. Welcome on in, guys. Thank you for sending your community over. We're playing uh, CDI games tonight. We're playing this weird game called Inca. It's really good, uh, and it's weird. It's about a about a guy that goes to you know, he's, he flies around in space, uh, hunting down pirates and stuff. It's really cool. I'm sort of playing with the walkthrough, just trying to get through the game. Uh, I might have to just pull up a map for this one. I don't want to get lost. Because we're getting close to the end of the game. I just want to, like... Okay, hold on. I think I got this now. So you should be able to just go left. Kieran, how was your stream? Oh, it was a good one. Betty Machete, welcome on in. Is the CDI emulating correctly? No, enough dragon. We're playing on a real system. N64 version of RE2. Nice. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, can you get an emulator for it? I'm sure you could, but I don't think the digital video cartridge works pro properly. Because I remember years ago I tried getting an emulator set up, and I was like, all right, I might as well just get the uh, the actual system, you know? Um... This way, the rest of you will corner him. We'll corner him. One. Crap. Got him. Scared of my dog. Yeah, we're in terror. Yeah. Oh, 
Come on. Do it. One. Now turn right. Go down. Turn left. Probably have to fight somebody out here. Oh. Probably gonna get hit. Left. Go straight. Probably another enemy out here. Left. Up. Should work. Did it! One eight one eight ninety six. All right. More puzzle solving, right? Oh, we got more. All right, let's pull a map up for this one. Yo, purple and gold, welcome on in. How you doing? Yeah, it is cold out today, by the way. Uh, when I left the office, uh, at the end of the day, it was 20 degrees. Now, I think it's like 5 degrees right now. It's, I hear the wind blowing. So, if you guys are uh, feeling the cold, stay uh, stay warm. Stay safe. What is that? I got a clock. The hell is that clock, though? I got a clock. That opened the door. Nope. Oh, it did. Look. Okay. Brought us up the stairs. Turn right. What is this? Got a bridge. Huh? It's loading. Something's loading. Oh. The lava. Quarry stones. Quarry stones. Oh, we got here. Golden sun. Uh, no, El Dorado. To me, stones. Quarry. To me's blades. Oh, it's a slider puzzle. I knew it. Is that, does that move up? No, it doesn't. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, here. Oh, hey, we got something here. All right, so now we take our. Our plate. Without a handle for these blades. Not being able to cut them. A geometrical use. And complementary to these objects. Seems wise to me. So now we take the plate here, the golden sun, and... Oh, what do we got here? All that's left to do is to obliterate several areas of the shadow. Oh, what do we got here? So we got a blue gem. Whoop. 
blue gem. Oh. oh, did we put the gem on the this thing? The flower lacks heart worthy of its petals. Okay. So is this Simon? Red. No Eldorado. No Eldorado. Yellow. Yellow. It's like, no Eldorado. I clicked the wrong one. Red. Sun on the red. Red. Yo, Tristan, welcome on in. Then it's purple. So I thought I clicked the, the red, the purple. Click on the purple. No Eldorado. Blue. No Eldorado. No Eldorado. Oh, purple. Red. No Eldorado. Green. Oh, there we go. It just keeps saying no Eldorado. Purple. Purple blue. Oh, I see. It's the opposite color. It's the opposite color. Weird. Feel the rhythm. Hey, we did it. No Eldorado. 
No, El Dorado. Got more of the puzzle. Pipe. Don't finish all the Doritos. What's this pipe? Piece of bamboo. Put the golden sun on the thing. What's this? Moon. Moon. Feel like playing Uncharted? Oh, what's this? Ooh, interesting. Oh, it's like solitaire. Wait. Hold on. I have to take this one, jump that. Take this guy, jump that one. Try again and think harder. Wait, what? Wait, do I have to put the sun on the thing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Bravo, Eldorado. You've chosen the best of the stars. All right, so we got the moon. The sun. Oh, do we put the sun back here now? Here comes the sun eclipse. Suddenly, there's light. No El Dorado. <laughs> we get the sun. Get the disc. No El Dorado. Put the sun back then. And now there's light. Okay. Do we take the gem out now? Disc. They use did I do something with the bamboo? No. Disc. Take the disc away. That happens. Hmm. But I do I do something with this bamboo, don't I? Sun. No. Earth. There it is. All right, now we put the sun here. That probably creates an eclipse. Mr. Spock, welcome on in. It's clearly ancient rotary dial phone. Eclipse. There it is. We got a gem. We found a hidden gem. Light may arise from darkness. You have learned a lot, Eldorado. And quickly. Your quest is over now. You will have to learn... How to master all this power. There we go. Do we win? What's this? Hmm. 
turn, right? Two. Hmm. Frank Lloyd Wright, these architects were not, yeah. Alright, so if I go up, then turn left and then go up. Let's see where that takes us. All the way up, straight. Up, 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 up the stairs, up the stairs. We got more. Supreme Star, Totem. Totem. Oh, if I use the bamboo. Totem. Supreme Star. Feeling of rebirth is taking hold of my Kamak. Olmak. The earth is getting richer. Oh. Fire. No El Dorado. I use the bam the bamboo on the thing. Yep. Okay. So we use the blue. Totem. How about the disc? Use the disc on the thing. The water. Water. Nope, if I use the totem on the water. Supreme star. It's a, it's a day lovely enough to make your heart sing. If I use the blue on the thing. Nope. Water. Nope, I get on the sun. Sad. So this guy, put him on the thing. Melancholy and dead leaves. I put the red on here. Red. Nope. I put the blue. Put the green on the... Okay, so now we put the blue on the blue. So this is water, energy, and this is energy. Wait, what's this? Totem. Water. All right, hold on. So put the red 
on here. Put the green back on the sun. This is a confusing puzzle. All these puzzles are very confusing. Water. Put that on the sun. Totem. Uh, but if we put the red... We put this on the star. That happens. The miracle of the return to life. Oh, it's growing. It's growing. Matter. Okay, so now if we switch time. Oh, let's turn into Lily. Matter. Energy. Just change the time again. All right, give it red. Connie, deadly is what happens. It's cool, very cool. Water. Does that break off? Hey, we got bam. The first, the first made these. Okay, so we put the wall. Okay, put that there. It's made bamboo. Matter. Uh, okay, Sh definitely a strange puzzle indeed, <laughs> water, energy, just cycle it through, I guess, uh, energy, Total wait. Matter. Melancholy and dead leaves. I put the sun in the center here. Up oh, I do oh these floats aren't very stable. Oh, it starts over again? Ugh. Okay, so when you put that up, okay, that creates matter. So then you put the, the bamboo. Oh, you know what you gotta do? Energy. That makes it grow, and then you just keep putting that on to time. Break that up. Put that there. Now that's frosted. The golden sun. You should be able to walk on that. Hey, it's a boat. And now through time, it... Okay, so that kind of makes sense. Not really. You got to make this green. Put the matter in the center. Now put the bamboo right here. Uh, throw energy on it. One, two, three, grab it. Put this on the center. Strike the totem. So what do you take? 
Oh, you know you do. You probably have to. That's gonna. That's gonna warp it. Doesn't like the frost. Okay. So you probably have to transform it when it's like a different time. Switch that over. Yeah, they did. I have it Inca 2. I have it on CD. It's in my storage unit. All right, so you do a totem. And it's even more weirder that this game. That one plays more like a space combat simulator, though. All right, so then you strike Supreme Star. And then you just take the green until it turns frost. Put the totem there. Then put the... Put that guy down, and then you change the time, and then it sinks. No, it doesn't. Then you do this. Then it sinks. Water. Okay, now you just, what do you, keep striking energy on this? No, just make it go time. Yay, now we get across. Hey, we opened the door. Hey, we got the Tumi. This sacred Tumi Eldorado symbolizes your anointment. You are the master of the powers, Eldorado. But Eldorado. you have to overcome an ultimate test. Maybe the most difficult one. You will have to fight Aguirre again. If you win, the Empire will be born again. But if you fail, our efforts would have been useless. We trust you, Eldorado. You will be the Enka of the new Tawantin Suyu. Nice. Cool. Let's see, that's 936465. Cool. Okay. May have to play this one. I have a feeling you'll be consulting a walkthrough. Yeah. There was actually a floppy disk version of this game, which plays like almost the same, but a little bit a little bit different. That's actually how I found out about this game back in the day. I downloaded the floppy disk version from an Abandonware website. And I was like, oh, there's a CD version. And then I went after the CD version. And then I found out that there was a CDI version. You know, after all these years later, I'm like, oh, I got a CDI. I might as well hunt down the that version. And then play it. Climb up these stairs. Open up. Did you really think you could escape me, Eldorado? I did warn you. I was more than forgiving towards you the first time we met. But you had no idea how to take hold of the hand I held out to you in my infinite generosity. You betrayed the trust I offered you. God is my witness that I tried to bring you round, but you refused to listen to my words of goodness. Prepare to die, Eldorado. Eldorado. I think we fight him. He mustn't escape! Bring him back down or alive! Yeah.
go back this way. Complete with the laser blasters. Or you pay for it. Cool. Looks creepy as F, yeah. I think I just have to go to the same spot I was. This way, the rest of you will corner him. Look on him. And left. Give up, Savage, or you'll pay for it. Oh, we got one bar of health left, I guess. What? This way, the rest of you will corner him. Spin around. Oh. Stupid good for nothings. He's going to escape us. Admiral Flap Flap. I shall take in. care of him personally. Turn right. I'll give you one more chance. Let's call a truce, and I'll share the power with you. Turn right. There we go. Up we go. Nice. Keep going straight, I guess. Oh. You think you've got the upper hand, Eldorado? But you can't destroy me without destroying yourself. Wait, when? You defend yourself well. It's a pity that I have to destroy from you. From from Money Python, yeah. Could it be that this stupid legend will come true? Is it possible that that old fool Juan Acapac has really found the chosen one of the prophecy? No, no. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Only gold can give you power. So, El Dorado. Do I have to come and get you? Hmm, go out here. I'll give you one more chance. Let's call a truce, and I'll share the power with you. Nope. Go right. You think you've got the upper hand, Eldorado? But you can't destroy me without destroying yourself. Oh, turn around. I'll give you one more chance. Let's call a truce, and I'll share the power with you. Wait, when? No, El Dorado. I beg you. <laughs> so anticlimactic. Overloaded. One single shot and everything. This ship, you, me, the space surrounding us. Everything will turn Series of sound bites. Yeah. Stop. No, El Dorado. No. No, no, no. I guess we won. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, we win. The game's over. Cusco, Peru. Inti Remi's feast. The prophecy has come true. Indians emerge from every corner of the old empire. 
We are going to celebrate Inti's rebirth and pay tribute to the new Inca. The civilization, which has been asleep for five centuries, is waking up. No El Dorado. Oh. Oh, I don't remember this scene from the DOS version. This is new. We did it. We beat the game, I guess. <laughs> that was a weird game. Except for that one guy, yeah. <laughs> this is just the slideshow. Yeah, I don't remember the slideshow being in the uh, in the PC version at all. This is this is, must be uh, something they put in the CDI version. Weird. Kind of cool looks like real shots of the Inca people. Yeah, it does. Yep, that is the credits. Alright. Alright, so that's Inca. Alright, next game. Kether by Infogrames. Alright, and it just goes back to the main menu, I think. Does it? Yep. <laughs> Now we're going to the next game, Zorax. Kether. So the next game we're going to play is called Kether or Kether. It's supposed to be another Unreal shooter. I don't know. Let's see how it is. Then the game after that, we'll do the Thunder and Paradise game. Just came back in time. Nice. Just in time for the next game. Kether. Can this play video CDs too? Yes, it does. It, it plays the CD, um, the compact disc interactive branded VCDs. So, like, um, here's a good example. Like, here, I got a copy of Naked Gun 3. And, yeah, so this, this brand, it'll play. Um, and this actually works on my Sega Saturn. Pour découvrir l'univers de Keter, choisissez une de ses options. Discover of Keter. Choose one of these options. Choose one of these options. Novelle parte. Thought this is supposed to be in English. Cure redeem plot grave. Let's go. All right, hang on, hang on. Clock rave it is, Kieran. King of Hades, welcome on in. How you doing? Cool. Clock rave it is. This be beat the game. <laughs> My lights aren't going on. This is a plot rave, everybody. Yay. Let's get excited. 
Good choice, Karen Plockrave. Karen, thank you for redeeming plot creative. All right, back to the game. All right, so Kether for the CDI. Let's pop this in. Let's do it. Yeah. Plot creative. King of Hades wants to see a random retro item. All right, let's show off a random retro item for King of Hades. So this is Val Dieri's skiing and snowboarding for the Atari Jaguar. This is a game we have to play next time we play Jaguar. Skiing and snowboarding for the Atari Jaguar. Pour découvrir l'univers de Keter, choisissez l'une de ses options. So wait, is this a PAL to version of the game? universe of Keter, choose one of these options. Novelle Partierle. The Red Screen of Death. New game, resume. New game. So I guess it starts with the new game? It starts with English. Pixie English. So I've never played this game before. I picked this up at Too Many Games for $5. The guy cut me off, cut me with a deal. It's like, hey. So I know you're going to play this game on your stream. I'll give it to you $5. I'm like, all right, cool. That was over a year ago. <laughs> what is this? Kether, right? Kether, Kether. Only 12 of the people that have the system to, yeah. With the digital video cartridge too. I gotta get the battery on mine uh, replaced, the save battery, and I need a RGB mod. I only have one, this one controller, this paddle controller. Uh, so we got Kether. We're gonna play Thunder in Paradise after this. Then we got this uh, this adult game called Voyeur that we're gonna play afterwards. So we all like, except like FMV shooters and stuff. That's pretty much all the, like, the CDI has to offer. And we got Dark Castle. Dark Castle, the same game that ABGN reviewed. Dark Castle. Melkor, humanoid. Ooh. Fan of FMV back in the day. Me too. I mean, I still am a fan of FMV. Now that's not FMV. They just took a bunch of screenshots and meshed them together in like a slideshow to make it look like it's FMV here. Broadcast of non-deciphered message. Automatic orbit around Kepa activated. NES lag. Planet Kether atmosphere. Carbon dioxide, 98%. High levels of radioactivity. Rare. Detected on the sixth continent. Alright. Let's do a round of Kether. I've never played this game before. Let's see how it is. Teleport to Dome of Visions. Emperor of Light will speak. Mission orders. Supposed to be the future of gaming. I am the 
visual representation of your celestial father, Enoi, he who reigns over all galaxies. Alpha. Long ago in Alpha. the Orion Nebula, Read his attack. I prepared you for this mission. Uh. You must save the planet Kether from the forces of evil. Cork is holding a prisoner on the planet. She is Eta Kareem, Princess of Wisdom. Factory. We wish her to be saved. <laughs> My light shines upon you, Melkor. Eonic teleport to combat stations activated. Sidriel vision activated. Helmet activated. Helmet activated. It's got a helmet on. Take off. You are switching to active status. All right, here we go. The actual game. Temple of Hawkmat. Hmm. Temple of Malkut. Temple of Hod. Temple of Netsak. Oh, I'm scrolling. Temple of Geborah. Temple of Hawkmat. Melkor. Choose your destiny. Low budget Tim Curry. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right. Let's see here. You are entering Hawkman space time. Up. Oh. Down is up. Up. Up is down. Up. Oh. Continue game. Oh, there's no shoot. You just have to dodge. It's on rails. Dodge ash raids. Can we shoot? Nope. Dodge asteroids. No shoot. Oh, it's got the final countdown music. Star Fox without the fun, yeah. Well, that that asteroid looked questionable. Up oh, heading out. Oh. oh, I missed an asteroid. That's green. Oh. Okay, so the green asteroids, I guess, refills your health. Oh. And now. Emperor of Light will speak. There is no chance, no random luck. You forge your destiny with each of your actions. Never admit defeat. You are what you do. Look at the star which can save you. Look at the star. All right, let's see here. If this is just dodging asteroids now, sh without shooting, I'll say that this is pretty boring. Uh, let's see if it picks up. I'll give it like another five minutes. If it doesn't pick up, we'll switch games, which is going to be Thunder in Paradise. That one's supposed to be a little bit better. And you know what? Fuck it. We're playing Thunder in Paradise next. This game sucks. Ugh, no wonder it's $5. Okay. Thunder in Paradise. Let's go. Hulk Hogan game. Disc one, Thunder in Paradise. Let's play. Movie and a game. Thunder in Paradise. <laughs> Expecting Rambo vibes out of this one, we'll see.
This is a show that lasted, I think, only one season, and the season consisted of five episodes. Paradise. And, like, if, if this game came on two discs, disc one was, like, a, the game, and disc two was, like, one episode from the show. So you got, like, a, a good deal out of this. Thunder Active, Philips POV, Mass Media. They watch on a boat. Yeah, it's pretty much what it is. Okay, let's see here. Hey, Death Clonic, welcome back. Hey, kid. Hey, hey, how you kid. Doing? It's good to see you, man. You're looking great. I feel good. So this works with the light gun, apparently. Um, but I don't have a light gun. So all, all right, we got is, is the That's silly great. paddle That's controller. A cut. That's a cut. Very nice. Everybody's on the move. Everything goes that way. Hey, Kira, I haven't seen hey, you. Hey, pumpkin. Oh, man. You're really 95 word art. Yeah. Hey, welcome back, bro. Did a great job. The interactive show turned out. They, uh, they talk to the camera. Oh, over here. Let me show you what's going down. Break the Yo, fourth Chubster, wall. Soopster. Oh, it's the left there. Starboard interactive side, game. Side. Right there, right there. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's playing with the oh, Super oh Nintendo. No, that's a Gravis gamepad he's playing off here. of. I guess that means we're toasted. Dead. Hey, dude, good to see you again. The hey, Gravis gamepad. Remember that Thunder in Paradise episode that we shot? Well, here it is, man. But Hulk is my friend. Yeah. Play it, man. It's like you know, it's like it's television, but but it's interactive. The show was great. You were so show cool. Only. Okay, you were really good, and the show was fun. But I just like to jump into the action and play game the game. Well, why not do both the show and the game? You know, show in the game. Television. Interactive so, uh, television. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Interactive television, of course. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. So, gun or other? We're gonna play this with other. I do fast. Done. Calibration of input device in progress. Hey, Puns fan, welcome on in. How you doing? Thunder in Paradise, Tim. It's gonna look like we're watching the show, but we're actually actually playing a game. David Riordan. Robert Weaver. Welcome to the future. We're going to compress as much of your memory in as short a time as we can. In order to prevent synesthesia, we must keep the Major's beta rhythms fully open which means his auto defenses are down and he'll be completely open to exterior input. They're going to digitize his thoughts. We'll be able to see them on the screen before they input Comes them to the Comes out pretty good on the stream, I think. Zero the video call is ready for digitization. The major is open for uplink. Begin this is all like MPEG video. That's why it's coming out really good. It's like I'm watching it on television in the 90s. <laughs> we're here, you're sitting, we're, we're, we're watching TV in the 90s right now. What's going on here? Major's been programmed by an exterior priority order. But how is that possible? I don't know, I don't know where it came from. Uncle Spencer, you okay? Terminator. Alright. We need to refuel Thunder before we leave. How's your bird? No problem. Uncle Spence, take me with you. No, you stay here. Uncle Spence, please. I'm the only one who can override the Major's priority order. Ow! Power Rangers vibes from this, yeah. With the Neuralink, all we have to do is use these yeah, soft guns. Yeah, I think you'll get a vibe of that very soon. 
then I can get in and take control. And with the Neuralink, I can sometimes see what the Major sees, so we can find out where he's at. You guys are toast without me. They're toast. You guys are all toast. That's, what, that's how we talk in the 90s. Warning. Multiple weaponry on attack boat. What? Alpha, Rita's escaped. That's what Tracer, it is. Tracer, Hawkeye. Prowler. Missiles incoming at high noon, bro. The Major's following procedure. One of his directives is to destroy the enemy. But this is overkill. I'm not messing around in Port Shields activated. Creating matrix for total aggregate immunity. Wait, Hollywood? Nah, they it would oh, oh, It's oh, a game. Of this. this is the a major game. Major giving us much breathing room now, is he? A canceled show. Brother, we got a hundred fires and a game. coming at us from all directions. Warning, detecting airborne you drone see a technology. Warning. Trackers! We got trackers! Trackers, aren't they, uh... Drone technology. Mechanical spies have sent exact coordinates of your whereabouts back to the missiles. Hulk and his mom, she is in. That's the case. There's those, no way we can fire the missiles and keep the drones at bay. You neuralink me into the system, I can monitor, lock, and destroy incoming weaponry, and give the drones a bad haircut. This isn't a video game, Zach. Around here, a game over has a whole Okay, so Hulk Hogan said it's not a video right, game, so chance. we're screwed. Oh, snap. Okay, kid. You're linked up to Thunder's weaponry. Show us your stuff. Here we go. Going to phase lock sync now. Okay, I forgot how to play this game. Uh, shoot that. Shoot the missiles. Okay, so use the second button to, to change camera angles. Blow up missiles. So apparently there, yeah, somebody was saying that there was a speed run of this game at AGDQ. I think it was Ad Wells who said it. Night Rider, Night Boat. Come on, man. Keep this up and we'll all end up shark bait. Shark bait. There we go. Realistic 3D boat action going on here. Strategy, kid. You're deadly. Nice. Says we did a good job.
that miss. We got a footscreen on the right, kid. Fire it up. <laughs> Oh, aft shield damaged. No loading time, yeah. The soundtrack gets you put it's just it's a it's a five second loop, that's all it is. It's just a five second loop. Fruity Loops, yeah. <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim, kid. Let's go. Pay attention on your left. On the left. Damage. You got spies in the sky, kid. Make them scrap metal. Light. to take so much damage, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, shoot a red at Shoot a yellow. Nice. Kid, there's more than one side to this fight. Look to your right. To my right? I am looking to my right. JT from Step by Step. Yeah, that's him. Step by step, day by day. Something, something, so oh, I'm out of ammo. All right, hang on. That scene from Step by Step and the, the opening credits where they're going down the roller coaster. supposed to win this segment. Eventually, you're just supposed to take damage and blow up, and then you just advance to the next segment of the game. We got a footscreen on the right, kid. Fire it up. Uh-oh. Splash the W the, the, the lock from the right. 
I always used to think for some reason when I was little that that segment was shot at Six Flags Great Adventure um, in New Jersey because it had the same type of roller coaster there that they were on, but it was actually filmed, I think, at Magic Mountain, which was like another Six Flags park in like California. I was like, hey, it's the, it's the roller coaster from step by step. Uh oh. Love that too. It was like the Rolling Thunder roller coaster, they called it. It's like a wooden roller coaster. Knott's Berry Farm? Nah, I've never been. I've been to Six Flag Flags, I've been to Dorney Park, I've been to Disney World, Universal. Uh, that's about it, really. Action Park. You got your eyes closed or what? Your forehead shield totally tubular. Shoot something. It's all just a roller coaster step by step, man. Yeah. Oh, oh matter radar. Done. Uh oh. Well, you really did it this time, kid. She may be down for the count. You gotta fix it, man. She's coming back to life. Just whack on the computer. Comes back up. Boston Island, ETA. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. For your sake, we better get there in time to save Jessica. Hyperspeed. Went to Action Park as a young one. Jumped the 50-foot club. Me too. I've done that before. They had it, I think they had it they lower it to the the 25 foot because too many people were getting hurt I can hack into the main memory of dr. Franklin's central processor maybe I can figure out why the major went wacko the security cam was short-circuited a few hours ago we better see what was going on right before that unplug it Thunder, plug it back in telecom. yep video probably on view screen what are you doing in my lab who are you I'm insulted you don't recognize me dr. Franklin after all Made me what I am today. I don't know you. Darius Rampike. At Darius Rampike. Darius Rampike. You know who he is? No, I never heard of him. Why? Why? What's going on? Now here's something to make sure you never forgive me again. No! No. Oh my god, it's Dr. Franklin. We gotta do something. This Rampike's bad company. I'll bet that face appliance must be hell on metal detectors. Now what do you want to do? Please wait. Coming online. All right, what do we do? Evil. So we got Thunder Systems, Target Analysis, Rositir, Island Download, Lab Database, Axe Database, Suburban Commando with the roomie the other night. We got the Hulkster 3 DVD movie combo. Nice. Thunder Systems. EPCs. Electro Pulse Cannon, range 100 miles, moderate rate recharge on an infinite power supply. Pulse duration approximately 1.5 seconds. Kujo, welcome on in. Thunder in Paradise on CDI. Yep, you got it. Long range missile, ordnance delivery range 300 miles, minimum arming distance 100 miles. Radar guided fire and forget, quantity expendable. Well, the idea of this, uh, that doesn't let you fail. Game just goes on no matter what and gives you a score at the end. Well, actually, uh, there's two endings in the game. There's a bad ending and, ending and a good ending. Hopefully we could get the good ending. We just have to be good at shooting. Greatest game and cancel TV combo ever. Alright, so this is just telling us about... Let's see, Thunder Database. Target analysis. System return. Island download. Let's take a look. Oh. Uh, hello. Well, this game's rated T for teen, so we should be okay. I'm protected by the ESRB rating logo. We're good. Games like Voyeur, though, we might not be so lucky because there is no. I don't think there is a rating on Voyeur. 
came out in 93. That was before the rating systems. I think they just, like, took a camera and went to, like, a water park and just filmed a bunch of models. Like, this segment here. Yeah, it's just, uh, have fun, you know? It's for a game. What's a game? Yeah, you know, like Space Invaders in the arcades. Your pants aren't good. <laughs> My way. Who sings this song? Come my way. It's what paradise looked like in the 90s, yeah. Come my way. Does it say it in the uh, in the credits? No, it doesn't. Lab database. You squint. Security camera. Oh, there's a security camera. Why did you give the major a new priority? Four big companies ruined the beaches. You were supposed to set up the neural link so that we could take control. I had nothing to do with that. Well, order. somebody gave it to him. It's weird. Oh, with the it's pollution. All that he created his own priority order. Is that possible? It's all new technology. Anything's possible. We can't let the major slip through our fingers. Relax, relax. He's on his way to this Caribbean island, owned by a man named Rossiter. For some reason. Neural link. After this little girl, Jessica. He's going after Jess. He's going after Jess. Good. We'll use it for bait. Looks like your Dr. Holden is Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm after all. Just There's like a lot more info life. on this database. You want to look at it? All right. Rampike data. Downloading in progress. Downloading in progress. Download. Big buzzwords from the 90s. Technology. Downloading. The 30th anniversary of this game? No way. 1993? Oh no, this came out in 95. Spence's Neural Tapes. But the show I think was out before that. Save Jessica and you're a hero. Fail and it won't be pretty, dude. I guess this is like a, a clip montage from the show. I think this is to get you to go out and buy the VHS tapes. Or nowadays, the DVD. Alright. Exit database. I'm with you, kid. It's time to go get Jessica. Let's go get Jessica. Hey, Artem Adoris, welcome on in. Used to really like the show when it was seen on TV. Yeah. All right, next level. There's the wave pool we saw in the photographs. Okay, hey, kid. Big Edith, Better welcome on in. The boat looked awesome. Reminds me of me when I was his age. You got that thing on? Yep. Let's jet. What is it? It's the major. I'm picking up a flash. He's really close to Jessica, and Ram Pike's men are all over the place. That's what I was afraid of. We're short on time. We'll go that way. You go this way. You go that way. I go this way. So make a count. Move. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh. Hey, it's the models from earlier. Step by step, day by day. Gang, let's split up. Fifteen bucks on Amazon. Yeah, I believe it. On DVD. It was only like five or six episodes. Definitely fits on a one uh, one disc. Nope. Oh. Serious the kid play. Uh. Boom. 
That's a wave pool. <laughs> I love how they shot this at a water park. And meant to take, you know, meant to keep, you know, take it serious. Oh, okay. yeah, so this is another shoot em up game like Inca on rails. the uh the light gun for it's a little bit tricky to play this with the paddle controller you're probably wondering gee how come you don't have a control pad well 10 years ago i tried looking for a control pad a control pad's like te um not ten, it's like a hundred dollars on ebay so like the only controller you could have you had back in the day was either the paddle controller or the the mouse or the, uh, the remote control for the TV. Or the light gun. And I guess my system came with this paddle controller that that's wired, so... Thankfully, it's wired. Uh-oh. Am I dead? Missed. So that's my health bar on the bottom left. Fire the lasers. There we go. We got more. Hey, nice. Nice shooting. Oops. There we got here. There we go. Got him. Direct hit. Hey, that was a perfect shot right there. Let's see here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, almost. Almost. It's really a simple idea. You shoot the bad Yo, Neo guys. Neo Comico, welcome on. on in. The Hulkster's yelling at us. So we're not shooting them. Yeah, I feel like you need the the light gun for this segment to get more uh, accurate um, shot. You know, or maybe the mouse would be better. I do have the PC version of this game. They did make a DOS version uh, that also came on two discs. Um, the video quality isn't as good as the, the CDI. But it did the trick. Yep, there we go. There we go. There we go. Plus one. Oh. oh, come on. Plus one. Almost dead. There we go. No, no. 
close one. That was close. This ain't no time for taking a break. Clear your brain and get moving. Get to shoot the Hulkster. No, nope, dead. Damn it. We got another life. Ugh. Oh no! Zach! Oh, hey, Jessica! Yes? Oh, Jess! Yes. No! Don't get him, Jess. Zach! Yes! Jess! Jessica! Jessica! I'm taking you home. I must break you. Jess! I thought you said if you got close enough to the Major with the neural link that you can control him. Must have taken too many hits. Come on, let's go. Jess! <laughs> Jessica! Jessica, uh-oh. Now go to the commercial. He's taking Jessica home, then he's got to be headed to the lab, to his womb. Well, then his priority order couldn't have been search and destroy. He must be trying to protect her. From whom? Rampike. No way. If it was just Rampike, the Major would have wasted him on the island. I'll tell you who he's protecting her from. He's protecting her from us. If he takes Jess into the water with him, she'll drown. Can we get back to the lab before them? It's going to be a race with Major on that helicopter, but Rampike's another story. With Rossiter's jet, he'll probably be there waiting for us. And for Major. For Major? No. Jessica doesn't swim. Uh-oh. We get to ride on the boat again? Look. What's the oh, best way in this Jessica. place? There's a couple ways in where they won't see us. By the catwalks or through a tunnel that leads us to the turbine room. We'll go through the tunnels. The tunnels. We'll go to the catwalk. Catwalk. Rampike's men are there. We need you to keep them busy. Well, he's going in. Brew and I are in position. I'll keep checking in with you. Rock and roll, buddy. Rock and roll. Light gun segment. It's always a warehouse or a factory or a water. Come park. on in, kid. The major's waiting. <laughs> uh oh. Oops. Gnarly, dude. No music. It's eerily, eerily quiet when you go into this factory. That cost costume idea, dress up whoever that guy was. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm cosplaying as that villain from Thun Thunder in Paradise. Oh, 
shadow. Phil Collins song. You're anything? pretty handy with that soft gun, kid. <laughs> Welcome to my virtual nightmare. Oh. He had a garage door remote in his hand. Virtual reality time. New York City. What, what, what happened here? Run out of gunpowder? Oh shit. from Quantum Leap. Yeah, don't shoot him. Guess I'm running out of gunpower. News? A hotel. Yo, vitamin G, welcome on in here. Newspaper stand, yeah, just like real life, yeah. The cars without a front license plate, just like in real life, just like Philly. Philly, you're not allowed to have a front license plate. See her. New Mexico, they don't have front <laughs> license plates. You're looking yeah. pretty lame, kid. Some states you need a front license plate. <laughs> Whoa. Michigan's no plate, no plate. I guess it's common. A lot of, lot of states. Wisconsin. Ninja Turtles! Logo over there. Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles!
They shot this at uh, Disney MGM Studios back in the early 90s. That's why the there's the Ninja Turtles display over there. Well, they, now they call it Disney's Hollywood Studios. Did the CD I have a light gun? Yes, it did. Your virtual warm up this, is uh, over, pal. Paddle controller. Now you got me for real. Oh, we got him angry. Two cent Terminator mad. All right, I gotta fight him. Oh, there comes that note, the music. So wonder boy. Oh. You've been lucky so far, but your luck stops here. Take your best shot, ramputs. Ramputs. Oh. Play 12 bucks for your CDI. Oh, is he coming? The 910 model, like the front loader, so I got the I got the Magnavox CDI, which is the top loader. I thought I was watching a hero at work here, not an episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Ah, <laughs> good one. Oh, the headset for the NES, fire, fire. Insults. It's probably gonna make some fart jokes next. Evidence. Can't we handle this like adults, Mr. Poop Poo Pants? Hey, he's calling us Poo Poo Pants. <laughs> poo Poo Pants. Uh. I got a second vitamin C. I can't pause, so I can't read your comment. Give me a second. Give me like five seconds. Nine tens the size of a CD changer, laser disc player, single CD. Drive on the left. Okay, I, I think I, I I think I've seen that before. <laughs> Made some good timing there. Get on the other side and fight him. Oh, we got him. 
Mission complete. Did it break? I think it froze. Give it a little bit of time. Nope, we're good. Nope, it's not over. What happened? What the heck is this? I'm out of weapons. The fuck? Hey kid! What happened? The major came out of nowhere. Come I don't know, the fight. game glitched out. After Ace here got zapped, Holden got free and took control of the major. Thank God Jess didn't get hurt. Come on, there's nothing more to do here. I think we got the bad ending. It's not so easy, is it, hot shot? The bad news is you lost. Ah, uh, no. Good news is you can always try it again. That's right. You There's ran always out another of ammo. Day in paradise. DQ, buddy. Buddy. Oh man, ah oh, man, I better go back to step by step. Thunder and paradise. The end. That's the bad ending. POV hat, yeah. Oh, we gotta put her name in. Ah. <sighs> ah. Uh, uh, and. <laughs> and. Ah, uh, we're the only one on the board. Alright, that means we technically won. Buddy, is Hogan allowed to call Brutter? <laughs> Comic Sans look, looks good, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, and paradise. Huh? Alright, well, that was Thunder and Paradise. Let's pop in the next game. Next game we're going to play is a game called Voyeur. I picked this up at, uh... A, pers a Cody personal shopping session a couple months ago. Voyeur. Don't get caught. Reed Hawk has it all. Wealth, power, the, uh, the adoration of millions, and secrets to protect. This weekend, he has gathered his family to discuss running for the presidency of the United States. Lust, revenge, and betray betrayal are at play in this adult political thriller. Do you just watch or you risk getting involved? Will the videotape you make save the country or cost you your life? As the voyeur, it's up to you. Uh, wasn't there a cheesy game for the CDI or with the 3D? No, that was um, so that was on the 3DO. Yeah, it was on the 3DO. Um, Daedalus Encounter. I have that game. Uh, so this is an FMV game. Um. This is an FMV game. I'm going to play it next. And uh, I'm actually going to run to the restroom, so I'll be right back. Sit tight. Spam emotes. Sit tight.
Thank you, Mr. Spock. We would have gone on without it. Okay, let me repeat what I just said. So there are so there might be some questionable content in this uh, in this game. If I feel like I I need to hide the screen, we will bring up Montana. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's how we, that's our button to to make the uh, the evil content go away. Right, that's popping boy yeah, boy yeah, boyer. So here we go. Got Montana on the screen. It's my first time playing this game. Phillips. Montana button is good. So I'm going to keep my finger on the Montana button. We'll be okay. McCaw streamed this game. So it's, it, we should be all good. Last play. Enter the code. There's a code you got to put in? Last play was 235... Is a code you gotta put in? Is it in the manual? So let's see here. It's a code. Explained on page four. Lockout system. A lockout feature offers adults the option to control family use of the program. After opening a logo, a lockout screen appears. The time and the date of the last game is showed for your reference to unlock the disc hit three 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 and accept three 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 and accept okay protect the children oh, accept phillips pov and propaganda films present boy yeah my finger on this button you never know what might show up oh never mind <laughs> all right hold on immediately okay take montana away oh got a, a guy coming up on the screen cat sawyer young Oh. Uh oh, there might be a delay with the Montana button. Take it easy with that thing, lady. Shut up! Put these on. Handcuffs? Uh oh. Uh. What are you gonna do? Uh oh. Anything I want. Uh oh. <laughs> Montana, come on the screen. Yeah, we'll just mute that. Montana. Montana's the best. Can we have Hannah Montana button? Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Good day, Hope Manor. Yes, everything is ready. Uh, I have them for you, sir. Frank? All right, she's oh, just sorry, sitting sir. on top Frank, of them, but right I'm just, we're gonna be we're gonna be uh, we're yes, gonna be sir. safe here. What's going on? Oh, he's arriving. Ah, oh, Christ! Come on, get me out of these things. Damn. <laughs> Come on, Chantel. There's no time for games. Get me out of this thing. There's always time for games, Frank. All right, all right, all right. Okay, look, I'll, I promise I'll do the Peruvian sheep herder thing if you just let me up. Okay, hold on. So there's a delay with the Montana button, so I'll just keep her finger here. I wonder what the future president of the United States would think if he finds you cuffed to his bed. This is not funny. His head of security. Chantal. Uncuff me. Damn it. Uncuff me. Uncuff him. Everything's so serious. Get back here. Robert Weaver. Wait, did he do the? Did he work on the the other game we were playing? Robert Weaver. Saturday afternoon, player's apartment. So I think this game's supposed to be like Night Trap. Oh, we're in the apartment. Watch TV. Oh, answer the phone. Where's the phone? Put the phone on. Send the tape. Listen carefully. This will be the last time I can contact you. 
We've got to stop Reed Hawk. Reed Everything Hawk? you need is in the apartment. You've received the dossiers on the different family members. And the video camera's set up and ready to go. Okay. If you can get incriminating evidence on tape, call the police. Call the police. make sure it's solid. This will be our last chance. All right. Look, I'll... This guy's capable of anything. Maybe you can figure out a way to warn the family members if they're in danger. Dude, the episode of Baywatch? Nice. Be careful. The future of this country's at stake. We're counting on you. Counting on us. Okay. So let's see. Can we send the tape? What happens if you send the tape? Pick a character. Oh, you gotta you gotta pick who it is. Like the idea of Night Trap, but you can't actually watch the story play out. You have to cut around with crazy not to lose. Yeah, exactly. There's no way to like watch the full thing. Uh call the police? What happens if you call the police? I think it just ends the game. You the one that called with the stuff on Reed Hawk? Called the police. So show me the tape. Show me the tape. You don't have the tape. Game over. Play. This tape doesn't prove anything. I should haul you in, you pervert. I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Hawk presses charges. <laughs> there he goes away. Is that game over? No. Oh, it lets us continue. Okay. So watch TV. Will he or won't he? This is Tish Van Alden, and that's the hot question on everybody's lips during this primary season. Billionaire bachelor and business genius Reed Hawk has yet to commit himself to the race for the Oval Office. Well, hang on to your hats, it's like folks, that Hitchcock because he's movie? gathering his flock Maybe. this weekend to help him reach a decision. So we have to. The Hawks get together, the we have to put this guy behind bars. I mean, imagine how his son Zachary must feel after his sudden promotion off the missile defense system project. Just in time for it to propel dear old dad into the White House. Getting a little chilly in daddy's shadows, Zach. It's a Betamax about Jessica the vineyards in Northern California. In Japan with a new bow and their own unique brand of environmental capital. I love how this is a Philips <laughs> television. A big success back in the land of the rising yen. But really, Jessica, considering your father's America first ideals, isn't this just asking for trouble? And of course... Reed's sister Margaret will be there to stake her claim to first ladydom. But Margaret, dear, please show some restraint. Rumor has it you're already shopping for your inaugural gown and planning the ball. Well, you better plan on trouble if your daughter Chloe shows up sporting her usual leather look. My God. Reed has paid a fortune trying to keep his niece's escapades out of the tabloids. Can you imagine what it'll cost him as president? Oh, wouldn't you just love to be a fly on the wall and listen in? Election gossip. Yeah. Uh, now we've gotten word that Reed Hawk is arriving at Hawk Manor. We go live to Jay Jacobson at the scene. Live from Hawk Manor. Mr. Hawk, Mr. Hawk, sir, how do you feel about being ahead in the latest presidential polls? Sounds like folks are ready for a change, doesn't it? Your missile defense shield has virtually ended the threat of nuclear war, but does that make you the best man for president? Never said I was. I leave that to the people to decide. Come on, Mr. Hawk. Isn't it a fact you've already decided to spend whatever money you have to in order to buy this election, sir? Excuse me. Uh, I don't think I know you. Jacobson, Channel 6. Well, Mr. Jacobson, my family always comes first. You actually so did find a two tape Betamax set in the Thrift Store, California Vineyards. Left it in the shelf. And you now, think it was there for like six me, months? The future of our Betamax. You have a Betamax of our player? Worth my risking my personal fortune? You, now, could you pop a yes, Betamax in a, v okay. uh, a VCR or do you need the player? You need the player for that, right? There's still no decision from Reed Hawk. We'll bring you further reports as this story develops. All right. Cool. Let's see here. Quit. We don't want to quit. All right, let's look at the Hawk Manor. 
Test my Montana button, make sure we're good. Saturday, 4 p.m. All right. Look around. Look around the house. 4 p.m. We got half our battery on this thing. All right, so we can look around. Uh, let's look at the front front room. There's probably nothing bad going on in here. Oh, I missed something. Shit. Okay, hold on. We missed something. What was this like an instant switch technology? Can we go in here? Nothing in here. It's a what is this, teddy bear. Chloe, welcome home. I found Mr. Teddy. Love, Mom. Look around. What is this? Oh, that was the that was the lady we were just ran into. Betamax and VHS were not cost compatible. You don't have a Betamax player. You almost bought one. Realized it would take hours to fix. Oh yeah, yeah, not worth it then. All right, nothing in. Oh, wait, is that a safe? Oh, we're going to run out of battery. Crap, we're going to run out of battery. Four PM. Saturday, seven PM. All right, now we have full battery. Let's see here. HD VHS tapes? No, I have not. Let's see what we got here. Get my finger on the button. Uh, so zoom in on the photo. Reed Hawk and the wife. Line oh, Linus did a video on it? I must have missed that. Hmm. Oh, what's down here? We're at a bar. Can we zoom in on any of the bar items? Oh, napkin. What's in here? Uh, Frank, order more whiskey. C. P.S. Meet me in the bar tonight or else. Ooh. Meet him in the bar. Was that a newspaper? Dear Zach, please be a dear and play my favorite sonata, even though your father never appreciated your talents as a pianist. I have always loved your music. Aunt Margaret. Back out. You have two functional laser disc players, about forty discs. Nice. I have a laser disc player, with the. I actually have a. Speaking of interactive movies, I have an interactive movie on the laser disc. We should play it one day. I gotta get that set up. Oh, fridge. From the desk of Margaret Hawk to the cooking staff, please be aware of the family's preferences. If there's any questions, please speak to me. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that second one say? Uh, breakfast, black coffee, French roast, lunch, makes own breakfast. No, makes own sandwich. Stock like mayo, extra fine Dijon, dinner, steak. Oh. Caviar. Chloe. Cocoa puffs for breakfast, peanut butter and jelly, milk and cookies, macaroni and cheese, Zach and Laura, Laura makes, Laura makes, broiled chicken with rice, Jessica, vegetarian diet, no preservatives, fats, or sugar, okay. Interesting, okay. Back out. Alright, so, oh, I'm out of battery again. DVHS. Okay. Saturday, 7.30 p.m. So let's see. 
Uh, let's see here. Anybody? Oh, watch. What do we got here? They've moved us to the guest room. Guest room? What? Your father's assistant has taken over your room. Oh. Oh, damn you, Dad. This is another one of your sick little games! Control! 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 Well, at least the guest room has a king-size bed. Laura. Please, MDS Laura. was my idea. Even with all the setbacks and the mountains of province we had to solve, we were this close to making it work when he comes and steals it from me. Everybody thinks he's a hero. And he just plugged the camera in? Yeah. I don't know why he couldn't just do that. I'm not going to let him get away with it. All right. So he's angry that his room got moved. All right. Look around. So when it's an eye, that means you could uh, you could watch an FMV. Oh, we got something down here. Wait, is that the girl from Seinfeld? Is that the is that the that's the mom from Seinfeld with the with the uh Susan Ross's mom, I think. Saturday, eight PM. Up oh, phone. Back out. Why is the phone ringing? I hear the phone ring. No, don't call the police. View the tape. Uh, view the Hawk Manor. Lots of Seinfeld going around lately. Yeah, there's that Twitch channel that's like playing like AI generated Seinfeld, which is nuts. Nothing is forever. The giant VHS, yeah, from Back to the Future, the VHS cameras. Oh, okay, so they said something about going to the bar. The bar, there it is. And I had things in this room that meant a lot to me, and I want them back. Now. Is that clear? Well, I suppose we could have some... Yeah, that's the mom from Seinfeld, Susan Ross's uh, mother. I don't think, I don't think we've saved very much. I don't think I can go through with this. Okay. Watch me forever. Oh, Phillips Friday. Yo, A-Bomb, welcome on in. He's playing a little voyeur for the... Oh. Wait, is she... Oh. That's, that's fine. Chloe? Chloe? Are you there? Reed? Welcome home. Is there anything I can get you? See the copy of this for Dawson well, was 3.1. Nice. Yeah, you can bet on it. Okay, let's see here. Um. Let's see. Oh, book. It's in the book. Personal journal, Mr. H. Saturday. I'm not sure what is going on, but Reed seems more distant every day. He surrounds himself with work and all these uh, strangers. I can feel him slipping away. I will not let that happen. Not now. We've been through so too much. Oh. Let's see here. What is it? Valtum? Valium. Oh, they're taking Valium pills. Uh-oh. So what's this? Uh, 
That's the girl. Oh, yep, that's the same girl. Okay. Back out. Let's see. Um, Sunday, 10 a.m. All right, we'll go to the next day. So far, we haven't found anything yet. Uh... Oh, we got here. Now take oh. your award. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes, Zach? What can I do for you? I need to talk to you, please. Oh, well, come in, Zach. <laughs> oh, damn. Gosh, I'm sorry, okay. Zach. I forgot you released the lock. Yeah. yeah, I understand I have to go through you to get an appointment to see my father. Yes, I'm afraid it's true. Let me have a look. Um, no, no. I'm afraid it'll have to be later tonight. I'll let you know, okay? Now, where were we? Come on, bark like a dog. Bark. Now <laughs> we could show. <laughs> Very good. That's actually funny. Now, want some real good howling? Yes. Yes, more. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what happens now? Let's see here. Bark like a dog. The timing. <laughs> <laughs> Bark like a dog. Montana shows up. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's this. Uh. Oh. Uh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Blending with your sexual energy. Let that empower you. Wait, 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 wait. CDI has some wild games, yeah. But you must not let it interfere with the pathway I've chosen. Yes. Jessica. No. Yes. Did I show that? No. Yes, no, yes, no. Okay. <sighs> Sunday, 2 p.m. Let's see. I think I just wanted to show Montana on the screen. Because this is... Uh, this is one of my favorite clips I've ever made, him walking up. The batteries just to advance time. Like how the US government went from nuts from Sega CD games to Night Trap to CDI straight straight up softcore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Night Trap was all like, oh, she was in a nightgown going to the bathroom and that was like the and then the auger comes out and gets her. That was like that was the 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 straw that broke the camel on its uh, back. Bark like a dog. <laughs> um, all right. Boop, boop. Oh, we can listen. Hang on. Can we listen? Look, listen. What we got here. Can we listen? Who's been checking me out? Did they find any? Okay, yeah. I'll be careful. I'll try to call you when I know more. Okay, let's see here. Oh, listen. Call you if you know more. I can't believe you took Laura for a God, ride on your Harley in the middle of a mess. Hey, she is a big girl. What is your problem? 
Frank, what the hell are you doing in here? Watching out for your safety. I you doing, Frank? You to watch. Don't you, Frank? Huh? Go leave the guy alone. Oh, yeah, Frank, Frank, what are you doing? You're blushing. Excuse me. Well, I see you haven't lost your touch. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, hang on. Let's see. Is it safe? Read. And if you try to leave me behind, so help me. Uh oh. You'll what? <laughs> you won't do anything because you were there every step of the way. You were a vital part of everything that happened. And if I go down for that, my dearest sister, you go down with me. And we both worked much too hard to let that happen. <sighs> Haven't we? <laughs> I have plans for yeah, you. Yeah, that's dearest the mom from friend. Seinfeld. Oh, she go going down? Plans. I have plans for all of us. Oh, hold the blinds. All right. Let's see here. Sunday, 4.30 p.m. Well, let's see. What we got here? Any games planned after this? We got Chaos Control after this. Did you do my back? Uh-oh. Yep, Montana goes back on the screen. Let's see here. Oh, wait, let's see what they're doing. Like Shadow the Hedgehog. Chaos Conceal. Is that the oh is it the prequel to to Shadow the Hedgehog? I think so. <laughs> Alright, it was just giving her a massage. I guess that would have been okay, but a little questionable, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I probably should preview this entire game before I do a playthrough of this. So yeah, why don't we go to another game? So we'll pop in Chaos Control next, but Bark Like a Dog was uh, sold it. All right, let's play Chaos Control next. Go back to shooting. Living on the edge with Chaos Control. Yeah, I'll probably preview that whole game. Just make sure it's okay. But I, because I've seen people stream that game before. But uh. I guess there's, I guess it's okay. Is it on the short list? It's, tr uh, is it a truly banned Twitch game? Like a house party and gen general joust? General Jousting? No, um, no, I looked on the list. It's not on there. The problem is it's not a rated game. So you can't like say, I, I guess you can't say like, oh, it's, it's rated T for teens or something like that. Or M for mature. There's no rating. This came out before the rating system. Because I thought I thought I read a review like somewhere that that said uh, <laughs> that um, there's no nudity in the game. It's just there's just a lot of um, content in it. Infro games. But yeah. That looked interesting. I'll take a look at that offline, though. Chaos Control. <sighs> Introduction. Okay, so this is just like the Sega Saturn game I have. Options. Cursor. Fast. New game. Continue. Intro. Let's take a look at that intro. Speaking of ratings, did you play The Dig? Is that the LucasArts game, The Dig? No, I never never played that. March 3rd, 
1972. The, the space orbiter Pioneer 10 took off with a message indicating the Earth's coordinates for the use of extraterrestrial beings. 1995. 2050. Quite a long time after having left the solar system, Pioneer 10 was continuing its cosmic journey when it was suddenly stopped in the middle of space and didn't emit anymore. Make it go. Technicians live suspected on a transmission one day failure. I through the games on How Twitch long they were. That way I won't play. Someone had intercepted could do the that. first party <laughs> message. Or I could just play him on Discord. For his own play some of the games on Discord. Uh, I have a lot of Saturn. I have a lot of Japanese Saturn games that are like completely 100% not safe for work on Twitch that I would love to play. Uh, like Virtua, Virtua, Virtua Photo Studio. Virtua Photo Studio uh, is a good one. It's all FFB. Uh, the Yakukin Special is another one. Um, Commander. Lieutenant Darkill is here. Basically, any uh, red label graphic in, adventure on the Saturn is not safe as well. Yeah. Record it with the OBS. Yeah. Lieutenant Jessica Darkill, 11th Squadron. Yes, sir. At ease, Lieutenant. Let me introduce you to Major Karanov. As you know, the I'm sure. I'm sure the other game is critical. fine. I probably have to read Only the fine print just to make sure. Because I, I've seen defense. other people that play is, that game. I just have to system. confirm Don't forget, a few things. Before the war, New Babylon used to be a civil base, not a bastion. But uh, Major yeah, Garnon, if I know if I know when to hit the on. Montana button. Explain that would be to the very lieutenant helpful. why she is here today. Yes, lieutenant. The weekend special stream. The Keshran fleet just went into orbit around the Earth after the destruction of our colony on Mars. Offline content. I know that Major Morgan and yourself did the best you could do. Major Karana, please, let's simply go straight to but the yeah, point. But yeah, Boyer looked very interesting, Sorry, though. Uh, lieutenant, we have just discovered. Seemed like the there was multiple endings you can get there. It was raining kids ago, to adults, but I got swearing, flagship. death, blood, killing an alien, guard door, squish it. Oh, boy. Emerged into normal space beyond Pluto's orbit oh, that's before gruesome. Getting into position Wait, that was a LucasArts game, too, right? Since then, the enemy forces have joined it. We can therefore expect the worst. Facing this threat, the High Command has decided to attack the Keshron flagship. Reading? For this operation, you and your squadron are assigned to the general headquarters of the Manhattan Orbital Defense Forces of the Earth in New York. Thank you, Major. It was intended for After adult audience. The civil and oh, really? Personnel of the base Wait, Steven Spielberg made this? Helped in part by the 5th Squadron. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are in charge of guiding and protecting them. Until Great game definitely happen. should have been a T or an M, yeah. Questions? No, everything is clear, Commander. I mean, there was a game I played on the Saturn that had a green label rating, Lieutenant? which means it, it, it meant every all ages. And Lieutenant there was a scene where, like, I got, like, a, an abusive boyfriend kept hitting the girl or something. It, you to it was, like, being abusive. It was, like, the movie the, uh, the, the Fear the with Mark Wahlberg. Had. But it was like the Jap it was like pilot. it was like a live action Japanese uh, visual novel version of that. And I guess Morgan. they missed that little detail. I mean, it, it should have been a T rating. I have spent I my whole like a, life like a yellow, to like a mature to face rating. Such events. It didn't have it. But today, so I thought, oh, it's a green label, so all ages. Else. Yeah, God bless that sort of deal. And may you forgive me. Chaos control. The animation is this, and this is really neat. Oh. Alright, new game. Let's play. Let's play. Chaos control. Group two, stay behind in a defensive position. Be careful, okay? Don't worry. Ages 12 to an adult. Okay. Gamepad recommended. Well, we're playing this with the. Uh, with the a paddle controller. Go live on Twitch. It's a screen that says you're live in Discord. Oh, divert audience away from Twitch. I'm pretty sure that's against Ta. All right. I guess it's not. I mean, I guess it is. I think at one point, at one point, you couldn't stream to Twitch and YouTube at the same time, but then they changed that. But I still don't see the. I don't, yeah, I still don't see the. Uh, I still don't see the. Uh, the appeal in going live on Twitch and saying, "Oh, go here instead." Game is loud. Oh shit. Twenty-five. 
too. Very loud. Let's bring that down to 25. Thank you for saying that. Two to continue. Boom. Oh, that is fire. 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 Wait, you've played this on Laser Active? I think it was on all platforms. 20? Wait, too loud or still too loud? Five. How about now? Can you hear me now? Good. Neo Mecha Sonic wants to see a random retro. Okay, I totally missed that. Let me see here. What should we show off today for Neo Mecha? Oh. Is a good one. This is the Famicom version of Contra. This is the one that has that famous cutscene at the beginning that got cut out of the American release. Contra for the Famicom. There's your random retro. I got a drawer full of random retro. Just an FYI. Perfect. All right, good. Ten out of ten. All right, so nice. Done. Easy peasy. Look at those realistic waves. Engage. 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 Damn waves. Oh, so the pause is the is button two. Button one is the shoot. Overheat. Tens of polygons. Realistic 3D of the, uh, the early 90s. Realistic waves. Over he hey, we're going over the George Washington Bridge, which is not geographically correct. Overheat. 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 Five. Five. Using the paddle controller, Death Clone. I think D pad. It's a D pad with like a with two mouse uh, buttons on it, basically. Engage. Left click and right click. Ooh. Here comes the music. Rock music. Don't shoot fans. Don't shoot fans. NES controller, but weird. Sort of. One, one-handed one controller. Five. Like how the controllers from the CDI are infrared remote with a tiny joystick. And knock off Genesis controller, the Gravis gamepad, giant trackball, or a spoon with buttons. Yep, I got the spoon with buttons. Um, 
Yeah, it's legit. One of the controllers is legitimately the Gravis Gamepad controller. I think that was what the guy was playing uh, in uh, Thunder in Paradise uh, during that opening cutscene. He's like, ah, oh, I got game over, man. And he's playing with the Gravis Gamepad. That's the, that's the, the one CDI controller. Oh, the gray Gravis game pack. Oh, Overheat. Oh, Overheat. I wish I had the Grey Gravis gamepad controller. Curious how the how the system plays with it, but this one's good because it feels like you're playing with the mouse but with the D-pad instead of a, a ball. And that's that's funny because like there's a lot of a lot of the games on the CDI just have two buttons and a D-pad. Anyway, they don't you know don't utilize all like three buttons like on a Genesis controller. Or four. Ah, Lieutenant Darkhill. Congratulations for today's performance. Really praiseworthy efficiency. Thank you, General. It's a shame that things didn't work out this way on Mars. Enough of useless regret. The funds I Japanese manga start. style animation. That's why it looks pretty good. All operational forces from the Earth will be gathered. In order to break through the enemy lines and destroy the Keshwan flagship, the squadron leaders are awaiting your order. What do you mean, my order? If only Night Trap came out on the CDI, defense. that would be pretty Mr. neat. Mr. Night Trap for the CDI. Nobody deserves this promotion better than you. Your team will also be rewarded for its courage. Then I accept. But this time there will be no defeat. One last thing, Major. Our satellites picked up some system seizes A, B, A, B for the four buttons. They're just duplicates. Oh, really? So there's no no extra buttons at all. I thank you. That's funny. I'm going to leave you alone. See you in two hours in the command room. Damn it! I've been hit. What's going on? No video output. To all units, clear the place. Clear the place. I arm. Uncontrollable vessel. Message from Lieutenant Darkhill. Jessica, no matter what happens, I'll always be on your side. My God, Morgan, how did I manage to survive? Major Darkhill speaking. Connect me with the General. Top priority. General speaking. General, we should have the ODS control system checked. I have a bad feeling. You're probably the OBS. Right. No, I said the ODS. the ODS. Apparently, it's impossible to control. The Keshron have probably damaged the system using an unknown computer virus. Certainly, in order to deactivate our satellites, or rather to control them. That's probably what happened during the battle on Yeah, Mars. on the on the My on the Saturn version of this game, I have safe. the voices are in Japanese. General, we can't launch our counterattack as long as this damned virus is active. Otherwise, we will be destroyed by yeah, it's our pretty good satellite. animation. We have to destroy this damned virus. You're probably right. 
I'll let Captain Nakamura. A fast and furious here. fight for liberty. Meet her at level 15, research department. Hi, I'm Major Darkwood. I know. I will do anything I can to help you. But before that, I must give you an explanation. Got no frames of reference as myself and the other person I know who owns the CDI both have the Gravis. Never used the other ones. This system is derived from the many virtual worlds you find nowadays. Yeah. But with some I wonder how the mouse controller is for uh, some of these light gun games. Probably would be a little bit better, more accurate. Any other interface than the one from the human mind. You mean that one can go and fight the virus directly? Physically in a certain way. Well, oversimplifying a bit. As part of this system, the attacker can use destruction programs. Then I volunteer. First, I have to tell you about the risks. You are certainly going to be directly connected with the computer. In the case of a fight, your neurons will receive direct shocks. And what could be the consequences? You may feel a slight electric shock, lose your sensorial perception, or you can simply die. Ah, great. great. But I'm not going to give up. This voice acting is so good. No matter what so happens. bad. Mm, I understand. Anyway, you have more chances to succeed than the best of our engineers. Now, if you are ready... I just have to enter your mental print in the computer and connect you. Ready? Everything is all right. Ready? This box is going to isolate you completely to avoid any sensorial interference that could disturb you during the fight. Well, relax now and good luck. Engage. Engage. Let's go. Oh, we're on a computer. All right, hold on. Let's lower it back down to 27. There we go. Go. Fire. Fire. Overheat. 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 Fire. 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 Attack of the killer computer board. Ram chip. Fire. Fire. Literal bugs in the computer. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. Fire. Computer virus in a pool. You get it? Oh, we win? Major Darkfield. We defeated the computer virus. Engaged. Engaged. Oh, what's this? Fire. 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 Pew, pew, pew. Overheat. Overheat. Fire. Shit. 
stream the audio to Twitch. Overheat. 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 For spicy streams. I think that would be a good idea because the audio would be pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know. It'll be. So it Tell you what. It's something I'll look into like later on for some of this stuff. Something I'll look into. Overheat. But yeah, I agree. It's got to be a, it's got to be a way you can just play a game in your retro library, not have to worry about silly stuff like that, you know. Too great. I did great, Major. Engaged. Boom. Boom. Overheat. 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 Boom. No control. No control. Shut down. Shut down. System down. Do we die? Destruction. End of transmission. Was that the game over scene? Ooh. It's pretty cool CG. Control at the start of way you start the game sensor if you if you hadn't typed three 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 or just not start now according to the manual it 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 doesn't start if you don't put in three 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 I guess we could try three 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 let's see here what did that manual say here the end. Change the lockout code. Press new code. Yeah, the game just doesn't start without the code. All right, that was Chaos Control. Yo, ZVX, welcome on in. Next game we're going to play is... Mad Dog McCree, another FMV game. There's some good FMV games on here. Mad Dog McCree is, is a great game. Pop that in. Mad Dog McCree. Philips Interactive. This is another uh, digital video cartridge game. <sighs> Cap disc. Remember uploading videos to YouTube that are completely muted since it was all copyrighted music playing? You link the music in the description. Ah, okay. American Laser Games, 1990. It's in the air. It's an ill wind that bodes no good. Mad Dog McCree and his band of cutthroats are riding into town. Folks here plumb scared to death. Town's deserted. Oh, because this song was copyrighted. Even tumbleweed doesn't dare blow across the streets today. Black and white TV. These are mean, vicious. <laughs> I'm sure we got a sheriff. Mad dog. What we McCree. need is a gunslinger. You handle yourself. 
they'll fill them. You uh, sway a little lead in harm's way. That'd be tricky, but uh, we'd be forever beholden to you. We're, we're simple folk. Oh, but uh, the mayor's daughter, you lay your eyes on her, you see what I mean. She'd be worth taking a chance for. Hi, you're new around these parts. You heading into my daddy's town? He's the He's mayor. He's the mayor. <laughs> well, if you are, Howdy you folks better take in up here, some target East practice Parks. first. Here's a mean bunch that showed up. Beat the music. I'm scared. Yeah, it well, sucks, but I have, whenever I play side, Road Rash on Sega Saturn, I have down. to mute the intro completely because it's... That's uh, that's Soundgarden, Sound Soundgarden in the beginning. Yeah, video quality is that. Yeah, it's using an MPEG uh, digital video cartridge. That's why it's coming out good. Howdy, stranger. Howdy, stranger. But that Voyeur game, I think, didn't use a digital video cartridge. That's why it was not as good. Hostage out to Mad Dog's hideout. Sheriff, he's locked up in jail. We're gonna have to get him out. Have to get him out. Can you help? It's twenty-two dollars, Voyeur. They paid, but cast control was thirty for some reason. Weird. Stay out. Stay out. Games like GTA racing games all have copyrighted music. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I played the remote. First played the Middle Gear saw it on PS1 rented from Blockbuster. Dad wanted to watch NASCAR. Not a good folk. He used an old black and white TV. The part where but they say the red town, dot is you, you yellow dot's enemies. It's like it's all gray. You don't want to get your fanny shot clean yeah. You might want to start with <laughs> target practice. Play game. Crank at the bullseye. Let's play. Stranger. <laughs> Stranger. We need your help. Mad Dog McCree's gang's taking over the town. Mayor Middle Gear, yo, all those folk on in. Want to stay in? Dog's hideout. Hey, Sheriff, he's locked up in jail. We're gonna have to get him out to help with. Uh, one more important hey, thing. Hey, old codger, don't. Oh, get him. <laughs> Got him. Hey, now that's good shooting, stranger. Here's what I was gonna tell you. It's the key to get the sheriff out of jail. Are with one eye jack. One eye jack. And he's in the saloon drinking. Now go get him. Get him. One eye jack. Go to the saloon. Saloon. Uh oh. Shoot him. Oh, do we get him? It's a great movie, Metal Gear Solid 1. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and we go. Ooh. Be careful, that's Mad Dog's boys over there. Looking at my keys, stranger? You wouldn't be trying to get the sheriff out of jail now, would you? Jocko! Huh? Boom. Two. Three. Four. Ah, I missed him. Damn it. Mm. Mm. Looks like uh, you're gonna old go west through. game of SNES. Uh, there was there was um it was Tin Star and uh, Wild Guns. Wild Guns is probably what you're thinking of. Metal Gear Solid 1 is a gameplay dream versus the little 74 minute cutscene in Metal Gear Solid. Oh, fuck, I missed it. Ah, oh, damn. Ha! Killed the, killed the bartender. Yeah, it's Wild Guns. Sunset Riders, yep, there's another one. And then there was Lethal Enforcers 2. I missed it again. Damn it. You better work Lethal Enforcers too. Saloon. Jocko. 
Western Stream Day. I need to get Wild Guns for Super Nintendo. That game is really expensive. I got also gotta get Sunset Riders, but I do have Lethal Enforcers too. There we go. And I think this guy fires a gun for no reason, and then another guy gets up. Ooh, in slow motion. Thanks, stranger. I'll forever be holding to you. I know you're a fucking mad dog. But remember one thing. These birds are bulletproof vest. And here's the keys. Gotta get a... Gotta get a... Wild Guns. I do have it on PS4. I have Wild Guns on PS4. It might be better to play a PS4 version. Or if I could get it for, like, cheaper. Cheap. Reload sound from Lethal Forces 1. Permanently stuck in your head. Oh, yikes. You've only got one life left. One life left? Yeah, this is the game you need the light gun for. Let's see. Sheriff's Office. PS4 version. Get him. There we go. Get him. Yeah. Mad dog. Arcade Western, you so yeah. Stand a chance. Mad dog. I got it. Oh. Oh, dead. Make a list. Oh, no, he died. Time to take him to Boot Hill. Boot Hill. Play game. I guess we got to try again. All right, we'll try. We'll try one more. Stranger. Stranger. Howdy, stranger. <laughs> one more important hey, thing. Old codger. Another guy comes over, pulls out his gun, boom, shoot him. I gotta get Crime Patrol for this ga for the system and uh, who shot Johnny Rock? The, who shot Johnny Rock is actually really good. And there's a Mad Dog McCree too. Cowboys, Moo Mesa, Mesa, which is basically Sunset Riders too. And anthropomorphic cows as characters. Ooh, that sounds like Tin Star. <sighs> there we go. Slow mo. Got them all. Perfect shot. Thanks, stranger. I'll forever be holding to you. I know you're a fucking mad dog. Wild Gun, Sunset Riders, Mad Dog McCree, Mad Dog McCree 2, Cowboys, and Moon Mesa. Here's the keys. Damn it, Twitch. What happened on Twitch? What other games? Oh, it wouldn't let you post it or something? Oh, Custer's Revenge? Oh, yeah. We won't be able to play that. <laughs> uh. There's a couple of Atari 2600. 
Oh, Wild West games. Mad Dog, you don't stand a chance. Let's go get him, stranger. Not a Wild West game, but Dirty Harry on NES. Clint, East, Clint Eastwood's in it. So that technically counts. There we go. Beat him and eat him. ECV, Stray Dog, we'll come on in. Shoot the cow skulls. Um, on the Sega, I know what you're thinking. Sega CD version and 3DO, you could do that. In this version, it, it doesn't work. Let's go to the corral. Coral? Coral? You looking for trouble, stranger? Oh, I missed him. Corral. You looking for trouble, stranger? Oh, where did that come from? Ah, shot me with a cannon. Six games. There's also Sunset Riders on the Genesis. Red Dead Revolver. You can draw. You'll either be mighty. Ah, gotta be quick draw. You better work on this. You looking for trouble, stranger? One, two. There we go. Ah, I missed. It sucks. Yeah, Triska, you welcome on in. Lucky, or you're gonna be dead. You've only got one life left. Corral. Ah, I missed him. Game over. Game over. <clears throat> lose at the beginning oh, is he dead gun and red dead revolver wait gun is um gun grave isn't there a gun grave is that a wild west there's um what was the other game dark watch is a wild west game This is God Hand, which is only Wild West for like the beginning part. West. Gun. Well, I'd uh, rather be lucky than good. Dark Watch. Is me. Oh yeah, I love Dark Watch. It's a great game. I played through. I did a full playthrough of that a couple of years ago on Twitch. Um, took me eight hours to finish it. It was a good play. Or I think it was longer than that. Oh, we get him.
Ah, he comes back and gets you. You better work on your sharpshooting, stranger. <clears throat> you only got two lives left. Is there any ones for the Dreamcast? Let's go to the bank. Michael Jackson, boom. Got him too. I get him. Bank. There's more inside. Yeah. The bank. Close one. Ah, damn it. That was a good woman you shot. Oh, no. Bank panic from Master System. 64. Oh, you get shot for doing that. You better get lucky, or you're going to be dead. Uh, let's go to the sheriff's office. Back to Future 3 on the Genesis. It's garbage. Oh, thank God you're here. Look, you gotta get me out of here. But you gotta get the keys. And there was one eyed Jack, and he's drinking over at the saloon. Yep. Guns and ammo. Boom. It's showdown time, stranger. So oh, it's a donkey. Iron. We're gonna see how fast you can draw. You'll either be mighty quick or well. That's why we got a boot hill. All right. Nope. Boss. <sighs> Looks like this good old boy has seen his last gunfight. Time to take him to Boot Hill. Hill. All right, that's Mad Dog McCree. Next game we're going to play. Let's check out Lost Eden for the CDI. It's an adventure game, so I don't think we'll go that far, but we'll play it for like 30 minutes or so. So let's pop that in next. Lost Eden for the CDI. It's a dinosaur game. You guys like dinosaur games? Dinosaur lore. Dino lore. It's like a Windows game. Desperados. Cryo Interactive. This one also uses the video cartridge. Virgin Interactive presentation. Cryo. Wall Arms 3 for PS2. Virgin Interactive Entertainment. Club Investment. Lost Eden. My name is Eloy, and I am old. <laughs> These days, I'm content to look out at the world from high in the white arch. But when I was younger, I traveled the world and saw many great wonders. And of all the tales I could tell, none is more wonderful this looks than familiar. that of Adam, Prince of Yeah, it came out on 3DO, CDI, um... PC, Macintosh. It's an adventure game. It's from the makers of uh, Dune. You ever watch or play a game, Dune? Oh. 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 It's got a good soundtrack.
In those times, the tyrant were once again on the rampage. Thirsty for blood and carnage. Their so leader put a timer on was the dreaded Marcus Rex. The years of uneasy peace had come to an end. Timer. 30 minutes. Yeah, I think, uh, no, we're, I, I don't think we'll go up to the PS2 for, uh, Westerns. So, like, tr anything Dreamcast and below, I'd say. Because PS2, once you hit the, the PS2 territory, once, united humans and dinosaurs once you hit the PS2 territory, um, stem the pitiless tide that swept PS2 down territory the calls for, uh, like, um, long games and stuff. Wonder if there's any Japanese westerns. That'd be pretty sweet. Japanese western games. Western video games. Gunfight. All Live alive. Lives, That's a western. But one place of safety, the <coughs> citadel at Mo, in the kingdom of Masha. Live alive. Ba -ba -ba -ba. King Gregor, Adam's father, brooded within the castle's massive walls. Unwilling or unable to see that Morgus Rex would never stop until the whole world lay bleeding at his feet. Alive had a section that was a western probably should best to just play the switch port or fan translation uh, yeah I looked up Japanese western games and it was gunfight from 1975 and I think that was supposed to be just like a top down game <clears throat> like those early arcade games in the 70s My story begins on the very day Prince Adam Wild came Gunman of age. Too. I had just arrived at Mo with great news Mo. from the north. All right, so you got to go into the main menu and you change the. Change the language to English from Dutch. Oh, Netherlands. English. English. Return. And now the game's in English. Citadel of Mo. So it's point and clink. Point and click. <clears throat> Video quality is really good. That's why I like this version better than the 3DO because this is the only version of the game that uses the MPEG. All the the video from the other versions are like heavily compressed. Adam, Monk, look for you. King want you in the throne room. Get an and pay card for the CDI. Yeah, they're pretty expensive. Adam, not leave. King orders. Bug a big king. Big king. Back up. Adam, not leave. Oh, can't leave. We talk to that guy. Nope. The giant empty hole in the back right now. 
you store the controller there? Uh, Alright, hold on. We go back down. Throne room. Go left. Got an amazing soundtrack. Right, I think I was already here. Go left. All right. Load times are pretty quick, though. So let me go inside this elevator here. We. This room. Let's see. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, I guess he doesn't. Speak the language. Uh, can we go there? Nope. Back out. Go into the middle. Oh, door opens. Uh, uh, we go in here. Looks like I need to get more actual games for the CDA. Most of the stuff they have are terrible quiz games. Natural History Museum. Yeah, there's a game. I think there's um there's a quiz game called Name That Tune. And it's like most typical quiz game is like if they if they ask you a question, if you get it wrong, you hear a buzzer. But like the way it works for Name That Tune, they ask you a question. You have to answer it, and then the your opponent, this your player two, decides if you get it right or wrong. So it's so broken. Hey, thanks for the thought. Appreciate it. I have studied the tablet for many years, but it remains a mystery. The tablet. Curious tablet was taken. Uh, talk to this guy. There you are, my lord. It's me, Monk. Monk. Your father asked me to look for you. He would like to see you. In Better go to the throne room. That's what he was saying before. All right. So where is the throne room? Do I have an Amiga? No, I wished I had an Amiga. That would be awesome. Uh, go back. I wish I had an Amiga. I wanted to get a Commodore Amiga CD32 like 10 or 15 years ago, but I lost the auction, uh, so I couldn't get it. Oh, filter that out. But keep in mind, I, any game that you pick, I have to own it. <laughs> That's the rule. I can't just go out and download an emulator. I have to own it. Making a big list. Potential games. All right. Ah, ready for this. Prince Adam. Prince Adam. It's great, a great honor. honor to meet you. Adam, my son. Adam. I asked old monk to send you here. I fear this day of your coming of age will not be the joyous occasion we have planned. 
This is Eloy, and he brings grave news from the north. Eloy. Eloy. This one's Eloy? That's Eloy? My lords, the city of Shamar has been attacked and destroyed by lost the tyrant. Dutchman, my... The humans there have been slaughtered. Alamo and, and the Lost food. Dutchman. That's a, another good one. That's a that's a that's a PC game. Freddy Farkas for DOS. That's another one. Freddy Farkas Frontier Pharmacist. That's a, that's actually one of Shamar my favorite. Destroy. It seems Marcus Rex and his Tyrann hordes will not rest until Lucky the Luke for PS1. It's another one. Ashes. I have Lucky Luke. You see Toy Story, you got Woody. That's Wild fortress, West. Adam. Its mighty walls are all that stand between us. You are my only surviving child. Never forget. That your sister and your mother, my beloved. Talk to that guy. I may visit you in your room later. It's going to visit us in our room later. Surviving child. Yep. Oh, what's this? Begging your pardon, my lords. I'm weary. May I take my leave? Perhaps I'll see you. Mm -hmm. Oh, he left. Oh. Marcus Rex, the Tyrant. Oh, never mind. The Tyrion destroyer of men and dinosaurs. The Tyrion killed your mother and your sister Leonor when you were only a few months old. I realized then how foolish we. Marcus Rex, oh, the Tyrion. <laughs> Right. Pan the camera pan's pretty cool. CDI games expensive? Uh, some of them are really expensive. Most of them are like five to like ten or twenty dollars. I, I, from what I've picked up. But some of the really good ones are like up there in price. But sometimes you get really good deals. It's not a lot of people play CDI. And all because his thirst for power knew no bound. Yep, yep. Let's see. Great grandfather, the architect, great builder. Yep. Your great. Oh, I hit the wrong button. It's probably going to go to that screen. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Back down. Back back down. Go down. So that guy said he was gonna visit us in our room later. Is this our room? There he is. Forgive me for entering your room, Prince Adam. But I have a message which should not reach the king's ears. The female Dina wishes urgently to speak with you outside. She has unlocked the gate to the side entrance so you'll be able to slip out without being seen. It's my duty as a guest of your father to remind you of his wishes. Hmm. Oh, cool. It's 
we believe. One thing more, Prince Adam. What thing more? What do you got? I understand you're curious about the world outside. Perhaps you'll find this small stone of interest. Nope, got a stone. All right, so we got to go to the side door. Is that it? to him. No one will see us. There we go. Hey, we let's go. Go to the snowy mountains. Do I have the Zenic Spectrum? No, I don't actually. That's a that's a like a PAL system. As you know, the Citadel of Mo was built during the reign of your great grandfather, the architect. Now, he... there's one Western game. Hmm. But when the Enslaver, your grandfather. I have a Commodore 64. If it was ported to the Commodore, I could probably play it on that. Express the Reader. Left hmm. him to die deep beneath the Citadel in the crypts of Abandon. It's on C64. She yeah, I could probably play on there. And she understands those whom you may not. It is true. I. Ugh. All right. So this is just a uh, oh. you can call out to me. Grandfather Tao will know peace amongst the ancestors. He deeply regretted that your father refused to listen to him. But by your cup Alright, so this is an adventure game <laughs> with lots of story text and stuff, but it was interesting. Good good uh good uh soundtrack i just wanted to listen to this all right so the next game we're gonna play is dark castle for the cdi i think this is the last game we have on our list so let's 
Let's finish it off on a good note. Dark Castle for the CDI. So these light games, gun games reported the Wii. Yeah, Mad Dog McCree came to the, the Wii. It actually can be played. Dark Castle. I have this on Sega Genesis, I think. This is supposed to be the worst version of the game, though. American Interactive Media. Polygram Company. Is it similar to Dragon's Lair? I think, I yeah, am. Depends on your... And what you think, your interpretation. We'll find out. Dark Castle. I keep the volume level here. You'll find out what Dark Castle is. Very soon. <laughs> I mean, technically, I, I could play... I do ha I, Do I have the Zelda game burned through? Let me just play those. Because I hold it. Game back here. Game schedule. Where's my Zelda? Where's our Zelda? Is there a Zelda in here? I thought we had Zelda in here. I don't have it. Oh! I have a CDR of a Zelda game. Let's see. Play. Let's see here. Great hall. Uh, let's go to the first one. Elixir. Fireball 1. Prepare for pain. Hey, Ghost. Welcome on in. Alright, let's play. <clears throat> the worst platformer ever. Damn. I think you gotta throw a rock at him. Nee, 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 nee. See, so aim with up and down. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. oh. Run. Yeah. Get the thing. Jump. Oh, no, I got hit. AVGN. Yep, AVGN reviewed this. <laughs> It's like, what were they thinking? Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah. Get the bag. No, 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 no. 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 Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Nice. Be first level. The worst platformer ever made. Fireball 2. Yep. You'll, you'll you'll see very soon, too, why it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, crap. Did I die? Yep, I died. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 
No. Uh oh. Did I lose? Hey, we win. Save last game. Yes, please. Play. Play old game. This game is rough. Here we go. There is a way to beat this game, too. I, I think you have to go a certain path. <clears throat> great haul yeah at least it's playable up oh, going into this room fireball too yeah yeah there you go got that that bat out of the way Oh, we died. We fell in the water. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. Wouldn't call this playable. CDI versus the 3DO. I would have to pick the 3DO. Because the 3DO is actually playable. <laughs> oh, he died again. We get to put our score in again. Got a higher score than last time. Save. It saves the score. Play old game. Great haul. Pixel art's good. Yeah, it's it looks janky, but it I think it I think it's pretty animated, pretty well animated. Go down. Yeah. Cope. There we go. So let's see here. Got him. Huh. Whoa. Nope. So you have to jump onto it. Pitfall in the 2600 is more playable than this. Yeah. Hey, that was a good game. That was a classic. <clears throat> ah, fuck. Does Philip still exist? Uh, not as a game co I mean, yeah. Yeah, they make the, um... They make, um... Electric toothbrushes. That's what they make. And they make medical equipment. Came out 20 years before this, yeah true but this did come out on other systems before cdi this came out on like sega genesis it came out on amiga pc dos i think this came out on a macintosh old macintosh computer I mean, like in the mid 80s so it's a pretty old game dead came out in the 90s dark castle where that came out in dark castle that originally came out in 1986 back in time yep came out in macintosh supported amiga sega genesis and then this system <laughs> Fireball 1. 
two years old. Continue. So I have a burned copy of Zelda's Adventure. I guess we could pop that in just for shits and giggles after this. And, you know, maybe we'll see if it loads. Dead. Oh, oh, I survived. I survived. 38. 35. I feel old, too. All right, let's see here. Let's see how we can do this. I don't have cover art for this game, so... Uh, where's my image? Let's make that invisible. Let's see here. Let's do that. Where's our game list? Zelda's Adventure CDI. Save. Hit F2. Let's see here. Zelda game. Let's see if this even reads. Zelda's Adventure. I have it on a burned disc. I always feel... I don't know. I always feel wrong playing as a burned copy of games. But hey, let's see if this works. Hey, it works. Zelda's Adventure on CDI. And I also have Hotel Mario. We could play that, too. Virtus. Yeah, the CDI games were easy to pre present it in stereo. CDI games were, like, really easy to burn a disc. Why do I have a disc with tape on it? Zelda. Now it would be nice to own a copy of this. I just don't own a copy of this. Zelda's Adventure. Oh, look at that. That is so jank. That's kind of cool, though. more viewing tonight. I feel like wrong with burning a game, especially since the system is long gone. How much does this game go for, actually? Let's take a look. Zelda. CDI. And so it was that Ganon Lord of Darkness had taken Wand of Gamelon is $330. Treasured celestial signs and kept 150 for the Dutch the version. Would have to be found to face this evil 250. Monster. Zelda's Adventure is 1500 Okay. It's okay to burn a copy of this game. It's $1,500. I don't think I'm going to spend $1,500 on Zelda. And so I found this champion of space. There's a loose disc for 185. Link's Faces of Evil was is 500. That's crazy. Yeah, I ain't spend $1,500 on a CDI game. Just wisely. Yeah, it's too much. If it was a Sega Saturn game, then I would say, all right. Maybe, maybe that much money. Let's see. Do I have like generic cover art for CDI? I guess what I could do. I could do this. I'm going to get creative here. I'm going to get a little creative here. I'm just going to take that. Take the Phillips logo and just like. Enlarge it. Phillips. Let's call this. Let's put Phillips right here. Phillips. So it says Phillips. <laughs> All 
Uh, let's just see how jank this is. I, I guess this is like the only like game that's like this on the system. Play. Create. Ding. I'd be like, A. Done. Blah. Blah. <laughs> Blah. Play. It's a live action Zelda game. All right. So I don't have a sword. So call me Zelda one more time. <clears throat> you actually play as Zelda in this game. You don't play as Link. I am Sherlock, your guide. I have known you since you were a child. You were given a difficult challenge. You will have to go far and overcome great danger. Stay calm and use your knowledge and strength to defeat. Uh oh, I skipped over it. it. Even has the scrolling from like Zelda. Oh, we don't have the sword. We got to get the sword. Oh, got hit. You'd think they would give you the sword at the beginning. I think you have to find the cave. This looks, yeah, jank as hell. I'm glad I didn't spend over $1,000 on this. Let's see here. Uh, where's my sword? Oh, water. Some realistic water. Oh, I'm gonna get killed. Dead. Do -do 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 -do. Doing. Ho ho ho. Where's Hotel Mario? I'll pop it in Hotel Mario. Oh, they're here. All right, that's going in next. Glad he didn't spend over $1,000 on any game so far. Yeah, all right, hold on. Let's try one more time. There's gotta be a way to get the, uh, the sword. Force of Ogham. Dun, 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 dun. Dead. All right, epic. All right, that's Zelda. Let's see here. Got to play Hotel Mario. Now, see, Hotel Mario, I could probably afford that game. Wait, remember correctly, it's pretty, it's pretty cheap. What does Hotel Mario even go for? Hotel Mario CDI. $190, $140, $75, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1
I dare you to find her if you can't. Hotel you gotta Mario. find the princess. And you gotta you. help us. If you need instructions on how to get through the hotels, check out the enclosed instruction book. I don't have an enclosed instruction book. I'm sorry. Too expensive. Hotel Mario. Let's start. New game. Morton and his nutty group are preparing for your arrival. Here we go. Looks kind of peaceful. Looks are deceiving when Koopa's Ouija. on the <laughs> Uh. Voodoo. Wood Door Hysteria Hotel. Alright, it's actually a pretty good game. The object of this game is to close all the doors. You close every door. Oh, I died. They, they're telling, let's throw a spaghetti reference in there. Spaghetti! You go into these elevators. It's actually a pretty fun game. It's just the cutscenes that make it seem like it's re pretty bad. Yeah, Nintendo should, like, make a remake of this game. Like, re-release it or something. Put it on the Switch. <laughs> just for the lols. They wouldn't do that, though. Because I think the story is they were supposed to make a CD attachment for the Super Nintendo. And this was supposed to be the game that came out on it. That's how they got the license for this. And since that, you know, that plan fell through. They went out and made this. Admiral Flap Flap will come on in. Based on the cutscene, I don't think that this was a real Mario game. <laughs> They got the they got the licensing. Oh, I got the I got a mushroom, or is that a poisonous mushroom? Yeah, Super Mario. <laughs> so you have to beat like ten stages or something like that. To get to the next cutscene. Oh, excuse me. Open. Cool. Mara's Missing on PC had some interesting uh, cutscenes as well. I, I think that's where Ouija actually came from. Like the the light green or the, the dark green Luigi cost Or no, the blue... Ya Blue Luigi costume. Luigi. Best game in the system by far. Yeah, it's because it's Mario. We stomped on Koopa's head. This is a good game. I think there was another CDI game called Wacky Worlds. I don't think my copy works. Last time I tried playing, I don't think I was able to get past the boot screen. Playability, yeah. Flower. 
I guess it's a hotel. It, it's considered a hotel. It's got all these doors. And you got these attendants that are, these tenants that are like Koopas. Got him. Gotta close all the doors. Stage five. Street Fighter 2 Turbo ported to the CI, CDI? I don't think so. I think you're thinking of, uh, you're thinking of the 3DO version. That was on three, yeah. That was Super Street Fighter 2. Turbo. I don't think, you know, CDI can handle Street Fighter. Because it's only two button joystick. Western game less. Ooh. Wait here. Sort of like a stealth game when you think about it. It's a stealth game. Oh, the, that, that caterpillar thing, like, opens the doors. So you gotta be quick. Got him. Yeah. Newer than the year 2000. Ah, cool. Thanks. This game must be expensive. Mario Gear Solid. Yeah, it's like $200. I, it used to be $100 at one point. Elevator noise sucks. Sealed. Yeah, the, the Zelda games are only expensive because of the, the memes. And stuff. Not to mention you need a CDI that saves. Uh, that has a good save battery. Mine doesn't. So I need that the battery replaced. Oh, fuck. Jumped right into him. Oh, I got killed. Wants to develop a game with you. Hmm. If I had time, I would develop a game. I have, like, no time to do that stuff. I have no free time. If I, I, if I were to develop a game, I'd be like, yep, I'm going to develop a game. And it would take, like, ten years to create it. Yeah, Death Clonic is in the middle of making a game. Hell, you're making a game. You're making you're making a 3D version of Demon's Crest. And that was only because of my playthrough. Oh shit, I died. So you're making a bunch of games. Let's see, we got one life left. Well, we must get the cutscenes. Koopa. the paddle controller yes please where do we start stage seven oh. demon's crest in castlevania yeah that's what it was Nope, I died. 
Oh, this sucks. Up. Close. Up. Ah, come on, that sucks. Uh, that sucks. Stage seven. <laughs> Ah, that was bad timing right there. Uh, let's see here. That is bad. Caterpillar stage, go up. Caterpillar came out. going to open the door. Oh, there he goes. Bum, 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 bum. The caterpillar is just going to open all the doors. This guy just opened all the doors. It, it, it ran me off the thing. That's so annoying. Continue. Uh, it sucks. I hit up on the thing and it moved left. That is rage inducing. go fast enough. Hotel Mario. Yeah, this one you need to play with the D-pad. I mean, you could do it with the paddle controller. You're just gonna run into silly, silly, silly stuff like that. Like what I was running into. Uh... 
There should be a Castlevania game for the CDI. That would have been neat. Or a Mega Man game. Jumped on his head. I'm still stuck on this level. This is so ridiculous. Specs on the CDI? I don't have that info. Uh, I know it's a 16-bit console, so think of it like a like a Sega Genesis. Nah, I wouldn't even say it's like a Sega Genesis. I'd say it's like a Super Nintendo, but with two buttons. Not even. Still killed me. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> I'm still stuck on stage seven. I got so close. I had to do is run up. I was holding up to go on the elevator. It had me run off the screen. You have to hit up to go on the elevator. Gonna open the thing up. One. What the fuck? It was turned around. I gotta wait till he turns around fully. Oh gosh. jump specifically on his head for it to count. Specifically the head. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. Specifically on his head. door, isn't he? He always opens the door. Yep, yeah, he's gonna open the door. That was a close one. That was a close one. Oh no! Go up. Finally! That level sucked. That level sucks so badly, it's not even funny. Stage complete. Nintendo played any role in this game? They, they were able to get the, the license. Stage 8. Go 
Ooh, damn. Got it. That was clutch. Jump on the caterpillar above you. Hit you. Yeah, you, you can't. You can't jump on his back. You gotta jump on his head. But you gotta wait for all like his body to fully spawn. Otherwise, it counts as a death. It's really silly. Oh shit. sucks if you jump the caterpillar above yes it does yep it does yep that's why you have to wait for the screen to go away and you can't jump over them yep <laughs> wait here see like for that, his body didn't spawn all the way. So I it it when I jumped on his head it didn't go away. It's a lot of unfair stuff that happens in this game. Collision that's yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, Super Mario. Super Mario mode. Close one. Close one. Scott Jolton music. Do we win or we have one more to go? I think it's every 10. Bonus. Morton's Treehouse of Pain. This is the last one. Oh, he just killed us. Morton just killed us, so we have to kill Morton. Yeah, it's every 10 stages and it's a boss. We just went. Oh crap. Just comes out. It gets you. 
All right, it seems simple. You just stomp on him two times. Oh, yeah, you definitely you should be able to play this on an emulator. It doesn't require the digital video cartridge or anything. It's the digital video cartridge that makes it a little bit tough to emulate some of the stuff. Morton just keeps spawning. All doors open. Oh, if all the doors open, you're screwed. Uh, so you gotta, like, really go. Oh, come on. All right, so he comes out of a, an open door. Uh, so raging. Close the doors behind you, yeah. What are you, raised in a barn? Oh, come on. The controls are just so finicky in this. No, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. It, it, it does a flip flop on you. Rainbow coin? I don't know what it does, actually. I'm curious. I guess we'll find out soon. That's what, okay. It gives you, gives you 10 coins. That's what the rainbow coin does. 10 coins. Ten coins. Ten coins. You get something out of it. Oh, extra life. Got it. Nice. The star? I don't even think there are stars in this, but we beat the first world. Look at that. Mario stage completed. Bonus. So I'm assuming, yeah, there's seven Koopas. Yeah, it's a puzzle game. And a King Koopa, eight. Princess. Oh. How are we gonna find the princess with the power going out? Maybe there's a switch in one of the rooms. Switch. Remind me to check. 
check the switch in the rooms. All right, let's go. All right, what's this one? Roy's Hard Brick Hotel. Funky music. All right, so there's 10 floors. We know that for a fact. This is good. Mario stage two. Got funky music. I put Shemu on the list. It's it's there. I mean, it's the the game requests get fulfilled when they get fulfilled. So like next time we play Dreamcast, I'll probably throw it on. So in other words, it's usually that's usually how I do it. I really I have no like set like schedule when I play like a like a game list item, but. Next time we play Dreamcast, we'll play it. Cause I got some Dreamcast games I wanna play. Hydrate. Cheers. Don't do a full playthrough. It's a long game. Get up to the arcade. Get up to the arcade. I do have Shenmue. I, I would like to play through it though. So I feel like I, I, I'm missing out. Whoa! You blended in. Oh. I'm missing out, I know. Wait here. <laughs> Gotta play Shenmue 3, also, one that came out recently. Marrow stage completed. I met Corey Marshall in real life, he's really cool. Stage four. Nope. Cool. Didn't like the graphics in Shenmue 3. I've never seen it, so I wouldn't. It, it's mo. It's that's. I, I would. I would assume it's more modern. PS4 graphics. Any ports of this game? I don't think so. of it <laughs> stage four all right we're halfway through this stage
stage five. Ah! Can't jump. Awesome. Uh, Kid Ninja arcade game? Yeah. Kind of looks like it. So stage six. Oh, it's a bob bomb. Bob bomb. Bob bomb. Cool. Ooh. Bob bomb. Cool entrance at me, the bob bombs. Seven, we got three more to go. Mario completed. 90s movie. Oh, yeah. Bob Bomb. No, oh, Bomb? No, it's Bob Bomb. Bob Bomb. Stage seven. Nice. Eight. Dun, dun, dun. Getting better. Yeah, this is actually a fun game. It's a Hotel Mario. By the time you beat ten stages, you get uh, an interesting cutscene. Stage eight. Cool. 
faire. one two more getting to the top of this hotel mario cool stage nine It kept moving me to the right. You think you're hitting up, but you're not really hitting up. That's the problem. I have no idea how that happened. the bombs Ugh. hard brick motel Close one. All right, boss time. Cool. Let's see if we get the boss down. Hmm. Roy's rowdy rooftop. Nice. Oh, not nice. Did it. Knocked him out of there. Cool. That's the next level, like. Mayor 
Chaos stage completed. Go to the second level. Bonus. <laughs> Condemned. Gotta do it. The Mario Bros. Condemned. Oh, and the pipe flew to go. go. Where'd she go? Larry's Cave Hotel. This mine is mine. <laughs> Bring a light? No. No. Well, maybe a Koopa will lend us his <laughs> if we persuade him. Larry's mine, mine. Larry's Chilton Hotel. Oh, it's like, uh, ice. Dead. Oh. Larry's Chilton Hotel. That's funny. Wish there was, like, a password you can get. I think there's a password they give you that lets you continue. Dead. Cool. Oh, if you hit button two and button one. Interesting. Button two and button one, you can go through the elevators. So you don't have to hit up and down. Sucks. I almost had it right there. Go down. Dead. Oh well. Let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. And no. We got the, uh, Save. We get a password. Save. So we don't get a password at all. Hotel Mario. That's so. Oh, all right. It just closes out. Recap what we did. I like to do my recaps at the end. Alright, so we started off the night with Inca for the CDI. We finished the whole game. That was fun. Uh, then we played Keither. I didn't really like Keither too much. Uh, maybe I'll give Keither another chance one night. Then we played Thunder in Paradise. Got the bad ending. Tried a little bit of Voyeur. Had some fun with this. I'll try this, uh, Preview this game offline. Maybe we could come back to it another night. Oh, we did a little chaos control. That was fun. Uh, then we played a little Mad Dog McCree and Lost Eden. And then we finished the night off with Dark Castle, Zelda's Adventure, and Mario Hotel Mario. But yeah, that'll take us to the end of the stream. I want to thank everybody for coming out. I appreciate it. I had a great time. Thank everybody for the new files, the gift subs, and the subs, uh, resubs. Kieran, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. We will be back tomorrow night for Sega Saturn Day. Just an FYI, we'll probably start a little bit later than usual because I'm going to be somewhere during the day, and I don't know what time I'll get back. So it'll probably be like 11, 1130. So get at my socials to find out when I go live next. Follow me up on Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitter.
Follow me all there. Follow me on Twitch if you haven't already. Uh, thank you all. Thank you for coming out. Appreciate it. Let's go and raid somebody. Let's use on for a good old raid. Uh, it's late. I gotta get to bed. It's late. Who's on? Um, let's read Ash said hi again. She's doing Amiga in the morning. She just started. So let's go read Ash. <laughs> if you're sub the channel, uh, you go to use this emote. If not, use the next one. Good night, everybody. We'll be back for Sega Saturn Day tomorrow morning. Peace out, everybody. Good night. Of course.